Kiss your brain. Kiss Edgeworth. Walk through. <laughs> your life. Yay. Get over there. Get over there. There we go. Hello. Happy Thursday, everybody. Shout out to everyone who helped me survive my accidental nine hour stream. I very much regret doing that. Had I had known so much time was gonna pass, we would have just split up more Super Mario RPG into three streams. But what happened, happened. And we're all here now. <laughs> Hello and welcome. What do you mean what? It should have been in your notifications. Go look at the live stream tab. The recent content on this channel's page. There is an accidental nine hour stream of Super Mario RPG. Because <laughs> I thought we were almost done. <laughs> um, welcome back. As we play more Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney, starting Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney 2, Justice for All. Um, <laughs> I, uh, I, I just wanted to play more Phoenix Wright. I, I was making thumbnails early and designing things, and I'm like, who's that? Who's that lady? Who's Lady Edgeworth? So, I just need to find out. I'm already kind of very disappointed in all of you that no one told me about her. Anyway, um, we're playing more Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Justice for All. Um, for the first time, for me, I played a little bit of the beginning of the first one and gave up as a kid. Um, have not played the rest of them. Um, support these streams by clicking, liking, commenting, uh, donating, becoming a member, donating to Thankmas. Um, a dollar from every member is also being donated to the Thinkmas fundraiser. So if you're like, oh, what do I do? Do I support Bill or do I support World Central Kitchen and people in need? You can do a little bit of both. Hey, God, that makes me jump out of my skin. Speaking of, we just got a $10 anonymous donation with no message. Also, um, right before the stream, shout out to Kinderas. I hope I said that right for the $20 donation. Um, had kind of a stressful morning, but but at, I I think there was a typo. I finally have a bit of money to donate. Hope everything is well. Um, we'll, we'll hopefully we're getting back to well. But thank you so much for donating twenty dollars to Thank Miss and thank you to the anonymous ten. Um, <laughs> um, sorry, I'm reading chat. Um. Please consider donating if you can to the Thankmas fundraiser that's pinned in chat. And if you're watching this in the future, it's also linked in the description. Uh, that's to benefit World Central Kitchen, providing uh, meals and supplies for people in need during times of crisis, um, including uh, over in the Middle East. Don't know how I'm supposed to talk about it without YouTube getting mad, because they've done that before, but... Links in the description, speaking of, should you or somebody you don't need them, social awareness, mental health crisis lines, Trevor Project resources, things like that. Let's go. Um, yeah, I did this right. That was confusing. It's so confusing how this is set up. Yeah, justice for all. Yeah, and this would be episode one, The Lost Turnabout. Um... But yeah, if you definitely want, because I have I have the trilogy, so I have three. And if you want me to tackle Apollo Justice later when that HD remake collection thing drops, um, let me know. Um, we did Rise of the Phoenix, and that was long um, and has haunted my nightmares. But we're here now. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I think we saw long enough for everyone to get situated and be told that I'm streaming. Um, click the stuff. Consider donating to Thankmas, consider donating to me, consider becoming a member. If you want to do both, a dollar for every member um, is also being donated. Um, that's straight from my cut after Google takes their crap or whatever. Blah, blah, blah. Click things, click things. Make some noise in chat. Um, I, uh, I don't know if you knew this about Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney, but you only want, only people who want Miles and Edgeworth to kiss our members to my channel, so. <laughs> I think we've stalled long enough. Oh, I got my water. Oh, we're gonna do voices. 
I try to space these out because there's so much, like whenever there's reading, because the voices make me look tired. Zephyr Phoenixes. Help, Phantom of the Opera, hello? Grr, how did I get into this mess? Can it be? Can it be Edgeworth? That's far enough. You can't run forever, Mr. Phoenix, right? Oh my god. <laughs> Hello? What, what have I done wrong? I cannot allow you to go on like this. Uh, but, but I'm just a simple defense attorney. Silence! You are no longer worthy of your title. 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 F in the chat? Oh, poor Edgeworth. What's he gonna do without Phoenix, right? I'm assuming that was a dream. Yay, the boy's okay. Oh my god. Oh. What a nightmare. Someone just donated to Thankmas. Um. Thank you, Lee, for the $5 donation to the World Central Kitchen through our Thankmas link. <clears throat> Sorry, let me get back into character. What a nightmare. I bet it was this ringtone that caused it. That he stayed up too late watching Better Call Saul. I really shouldn't be dozing off right before a trial starts anyway. Can we? Thank you. Beep. Hmm? Looks like they hung up. Oh my god. Hello? <laughs> ah, good. I finally found you. Talk about a close call. I hate to do this to you, but... Okay, look. Having frosted tips and mascara doesn't make you bad. No, let me control the thing. I need to... Say commentary. Chat, what did he say? What did they say? That was rude. A few minutes later. Just... So did I just get... Knocked unconscious? Ugh, my head. It's throbbing. And it feels like I was recently kissed and why does it feel so foggy in here oh my god good morning <laughs> ah oh my 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 uh, uh good good morning what's wrong you don't look well people are at their best first in the morning where's that fighting spirit uh sorry but can you please turn the cheeriness down my head sort of hurts Oh, did we forget how to be a lawyer so we can start the tutorial? How do I present evidence? Roger that. Uh, am I in trouble or something? Huh? Trouble? W wait, wait, never mind. You're a policewoman, right? I thought maybe I had done something wrong and you're about to take me off to Neverland? The Promised Neverland? I've seen a couple of animes. Not that any of you care when I watch animes. What are you talking about? I'm the one in trouble. What? I'm placing my life in your hands today, Mr. Phoenix, right? Life in my hands? I'm a surgeon. You promised me. <laughs> you promised Neverland. You said you would prove that I was not guilty. Not guilty guilt what'd you do just when i thought all hope was lost when all the other not hootie not hootie when all the other lawyers had laughed me off leave it to me you said you the one and only phoenix right came to save the day and just like that i'm i was moved to tears sir i'll never forget what you're doing for me ever what is this girl babbling about actually i really love to watch court proceedings and i always root for you to win when I'm off duty, I like to come here and... What's wrong? You've been acting really strange. You keep staring at me. You're making me kind of nervous, sir. Oh, uh, sorry. Mm, I'm afraid to ask, but here it goes. So this might sound bad. Uh, who are you? What? Mr. Wright, how can you say that? How can you do this to the fragile heart of a girl about to go on... I almost said trail. On trial, you're absolutely horrible. No, I mean, I mean, I didn't mean it like that. Is this how a defense attorney treats his clients, sir? I can't believe this. 
No, it's just... Well, I think you have the wrong person. My name's Edgeworth. I'm... Yes, I'm... I'm... Who am I? Why am I here? Why am I drawing a blank? I respect it. You have to you have to get us through the new game tutorial. I respect it. You can't you can't metroid somebody who has a law degree. The trial will begin shortly. Oh, the trial will begin shortly. Will the defendant and her lawyer please proceed to the courtroom immediately? The trial's about to start. I'm counting on you in there. Okay. Mm, I guess I must have amnesia. Let's see. What can I piece together? From the sound of things, it's probably safe to say that I'm a defense attorney. And that girl, I said I'd prove her not guilty. So maybe I'm one of those attorneys that gets guilty people off the hook. I am Saul Goodman. I am become Saul. I can't believe I made such an irresponsible promise. Uh, what? The question is, why aren't we at the hospital? <laughs> Court is its own healing thing. This is where we come to heal in this universe. That means a lot. <laughs> it's anything to keep Phoenix right awake. In case he's concussed. Right? That's what you're supposed to do? Yeah, right? That's what you're supposed to do? Yeah. Uh, tell me this is just a bad dream. I don't remember my concussion too good. <laughs> Why do I get the feeling this is one dream I won't be waking up from? Ooh. September 8th, 10 a.m. Three days before the incident. <laughs> Virgo, Phoenix Friday Ace Attorney 2 is a Virgo. Court is now in session for the trial of Maggie Bird Beard? The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. What is it, Mr. Wright? Uh, are, are you talking to me? I don't see anyone else here, so you must be talking to me. <laughs> <He's> just... <laughs> Do you see any other defense attorney here? I, I guess not. Now then, are you ready? Yeah. I guess I should say yes for now. Are you ready, Mr. Wright? I, yes, Your Honor. Wait a sec. If her life is in my hands, I should really do the responsible thing and take an ibuprofen. Actually, you see, Your Honor, my memory is kind of... What is this? Chain of memories? This is Phoenix Wright 2. You're not losing your damn memory today. This court will not hear the defense's excuses. Because the defendant is a member of the police, this case is under great scrutiny. Therefore, we must make this trial fair but swift. I believe I have told you this before. I hope you're not telling me you've forgotten. Actually, I have. Mr. Payne, your opening statement, please. Uh, yes, Your Honor. As I'm sure you're well aware, the defendant is accused of killing her lover. What's worse, her lover was a fellow police officer. A police? You did what to a policeman? It wasn't me. And besides, Dustin and I, we weren't lovers like that. <laughs> it was a LARP gone horribly, horribly complicated. <laughs> In any case, the prosecution will prove that the guilty party is none other than the defendant. Very well. Mr. Payne, please call your first witness. It's hard to get back into that voice. It's based off a buddy of mine that I did, um, I might have done a play with in a, in, a, in, a, in a previous life. And his voice is so magnetic, but it's, we burn a hot fire here. Like he's so, uh, it's like he's drinking cigars and whiskey when he talks. He's an old man voice for someone so young. Uh, <laughs> it's been a while, Mr. Wright. Let's see what you've learned since last time. I won't show you any mercy this time, rookie. Okay. Who are you again? The prosecution calls Detective Dick Gumshoe to the stand. Here we go. Don't let me down, Mr. Wright. Nowhere to hide. I'm so dead. Is this a dream? 
Am I dreaming? Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. Witness, please! Oh, God. Excuse me. Witness, please state your name and occupation! My name is Dick Gumshoe, sir. I'm the detective in charge of homicides down at the precinct, sir. You don't look very well, detective. Well, sir, the defendant, she works under me, so you know. You you work under that detective? Yes, sir, and while I was a trainee, he was always watching out for me, sir. He's such a wonderful guy, sir. I'll never forget what he's done for me. Okay, calm down. How nice a guy can he be? I believe you. Detective Gumshoe, please describe for us the details of this murder. Yes, sir. It happened at the park near headquarters, Exposi Park. Expose is an exp expository park. The victim was one of the local cops, Dustin Prince. He was pushed down from the benches on the upper path, sir. The landing, good God, the landing beat his body up bad and snapped his neck. The details are listed in the report that was distributed yesterday. Ah, yes. This autopsy report, correct. Why do I not remember getting a copy? I see. Everything is in order here. Even the estimated time of death is unusually well documented. Anyway, not my job to ask questions. The victim's watch stoked from the impact of the landing, sir. The results of the autopsy confirmed the time of death. If I may, Your Honor, the prosecution would like to submit this photograph. Very well. This court accepts it into evidence. Yay. No pictures of me. So, that's a good sign. I think he's just still trying to remember everything that happened. Now then, I recall at yesterday's preliminary hearing, a very important piece of evidence was brought to our attention. Yes, Your Honor. Yes, sir. Uh, yeah, I guess. Mr. Wright, is your head on right today? <laughs> See what I did there? My grandson said, told me to say that for the Tic Tacs. There was a very crucial piece of evidence found under the victim's body. Uh, was there? Have you lost your mind? Well, uh, actually. Uh, it's just nerves. Give me a second. What? How can you talk like an amateur? I thought you were a pro, sir. <laughs> the moment you realize you're in the tutorial case. <laughs> All right, sir. I'll help you through this. At a time like this, maybe you ought to take a glance at the court record. Court record? I made an album? Yep. Info about evidence and people involved with this case are all listed there, sir. You can look at the court record by pressing the R1 button. The R1 button, huh? You really know what you're talking about, don't you? It's too bad I'm a cop, right? Just think, I could totally be a legal aid instead. I can't nail down the good morning. I can't keep it like I thought I could. Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor? Court is in session. Save your chit-chat for later. <laughs> Sorry, Your Honor. Well, I guess I better check the court record and see what I can find. What was it again? The R1 button. All right, Mr. Wright. Let's see if your notes... Okay, do I check it now? Let's see. My bad gay... Up I found this in my pocket, but I don't remember what it means. Or Okay, my cell phone is the murderer. Time of death, 9-6. Can we get an ECIN in chat? E-C-I-N for 9-6? It's nice backwards. I can see you doing mental math. Uh, broken neck, body was also covered in bruises. Glasses under the victim's body. Pieces of nearsighted lenses were found nearby. Okay, cool. All right, Mr. Wright. Let's see if your notes are in order. What was the piece of evidence found underneath the victim's body? Uh, me? That's simple, Your Honor. A bro- A broken pair of glasses. That's right. The victim grabbed his killer's glasses as he was being shoved, sir, and held on to them as he fell. Why are you smiling while you get this information? Hey, where are you giving- Why are you giving me the evil eye? Those- Those glasses you're wearing. Uh, 
Yes, this is my spare pair. Hashtag spare pair. But these glasses they found at the scene of the crime are not mine, I swear, sir. You sure about that? Look, it was a coincidence that on the same day I accidentally stepped on mine. A coincidence. <laughs> anyway, I'm just picturing him doing these things while he still has no idea what the fuck is going on. <laughs> Your Honor, I have further evidence to present. Oh, you have more. And this evidence is very decisive. Very well. Let's hear from our witness about this evidence. There's something even more incriminating than the glasses under the victim's body, sir. During his date, the victim was pushed from the bench aria, but he managed to he managed to write the culprit's name on the ground where he landed. Nine times out of ten, that's never the actual killer. Can we just... Please? I don't like saying it, but it was clearly the defendant's name, Maggie, sir. With this piece of evidence and the glasses, it's hard not to say she's the culprit. This is a picture of the writing, your honor. Who takes the time to write fancy little G's? So it says someone else's name? Why, this is... Yes, I can see her name is clearly written here. The prosecution would like to submit this picture. Understood. The court accepts it into evidence. As if the glasses alone didn't make you look suspicious. All nerds are killers. We all know it. The victim even wrote your name clearly on the... Clearly on the day as ground. The victim even wrote your name clear as day on the ground. But, but, I already told you those glasses aren't mine. And how do you explain his dying message? It's a conspiracy. I'm not guilty, sir. Mr. Wright, you may cross-examine the witness. Cross, cross who? Oh, this is church? This is it. I'm counting on you. Sure, but what am I supposed to do? What? This isn't like you at all. Normally, it's the part where you get in the witness faces. Get in their faces and do what? Why is my pointer finger twitching? I feel the need to exclaim. I guess there's I guess there's no way around it. Okay, I'm gonna lend you a hand. The prosecution's witnesses the prosecution's witnesses all hide things from the court. Is this standard in our society? Which means when they lie from time to time. Lie, oh, which means they lie from time to time. Lie. But isn't that detective your superior? Well, even if they don't mean to lie, some people just remember things wrong. Hmm. Like that detective. He does seem sort of like a scatterbrain, even though he has the greatest voice I've ever heard. It doesn't matter. Either way, it's bad for us, sir. That's why that's why you question witnesses. You have to find and expose their lies. Mr. Wright, your cross-examination, please. Y yes, Your Honor. Talk about trial by fire. Here goes nothing. As long as I can expose the lies, we should be all right. There's something even more Oh, this is what we get. Yeah. Something more incriminating than the glasses. During his date, the victim was pushed from the beach area. But he managed to write the culprit's name on the ground when he land where he landed. Maggie, sir. There's evidence in the glass. It's hard not to say she's the culprit. Hold it. And you are certain that it was the victim who wrote the name on the ground? There was scratches on his fingers from the rough sand, and there were grains of sand stuck under his pointer finger nail. Is fingernail two words? Hmm. It certainly seems that the name was written by the victim himself. That nah, didn't go well. If the writer really was the victim himself, then we're in a lot of trouble. Don't give up. Keep the fighting spirit going. I'm glad you're all pumped up, but I really want to see your special move, sir. My what? You always... <laughs> the moment you realize you're in an anime, you always look so cool when you... Present. Evidence. Present. Evidence? Oh, that present evidence. 
I must be one of those lawyers who fabricates evidence. I'm having a memory about someone fabricating evidence. Brain blast. Yes, the Great Phoenix Wright is back. Oh, that's right. Huh? I heard that lately you can present not only evidence, but people's profiles as well. Oh, shit. It sure makes things a bit more complicated, so be careful, sir. People's profiles, huh? All right, let's give this another try. Even more criminal. So, profiles. He, <laughs> the prosecutor, also wears glasses. Uh, not much. Generally bad at getting his point across. Okay. Why would I present someone's profile? There's something more incriminating than the glasses and running. During his date, the victim was pushed from the beach area. That's not how you spell Maggie. It's in the sand as IE. So I can present a profile. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Still got it, baby. Can we get a fucking pogers in chat? What? What is it? I remember that night I just might... I remember that night I just might... <laughs> Wait. What's come over me? This power. My god. His hair turns blonde and he starts glowing yellow. <laughs> he became a super defense attorney. Without thinking, I just blurted out... Objection. And I yelled it at the top of my lungs, fingers outstretched, ready, finger outstretched, ready to take on my opponent. <laughs> These hands have slapped this desk before, and many a prosecutor, and by many I mean one. What a rush. That's what I want. Miles Edgeworth shows up and he remembers everything. Detective Gumshoe, you, you talking to me, Paul? Please state the defendant's name for me. Jesus. What are you trying to prove with this futile exercise, Mr. Wright? You'll see. There's a very crucial line of questioning. Actually, Mr. Payne, you can answer. The defendant's name, if you please. What? Well, wait. Where's this ridiculous question coming from? The defendant's name is, uh... Maggie Bird. Bird? Bird. Because the feathers? Mm-mm-mm. I think someone needs to check the court record. <laughs> press R press R1, bitch. What? It says right here that it's Maggie Bird. Ah! It looks like the bird caught the cat. It looks like the bird caught the cat napping. Well, he's he's got a head wound, it's fine. What's going on here? I have no idea either, sir. As you can see. The victim did indeed leave a name, Maggie, but it is pronounced Magi. He was a fan of the mummy movie, the one, <laughs> the one starring Brendan Fraser. However, the defendant's name is actually spelled Maggie. This is a blatant contradiction of facts. Oh, how about that? I hadn't even noticed. God, he squeals. But, but, but. But maybe the victim didn't know how to spell her name correctly. <laughs> they were lovers. You spell your num your lover's name right. May I remind you that it was you who said the defendant is accused of killing her lover? If they were truly lovers, it would be impossible for him to not known to have not known her her name. This isn't a fucking sitcom where everyone forgets each other's birthdays and anniversaries. Do you know how to spell my name, chat? Never mind. That implies we're lovers. I don't like this anymore. Retracted. Retracted. Unlearn my name. Forget my face. Uh, don't. Like me more, actually. Follow me on every social media. This is very true. Mr. Payne. Yes, your honor. Are you absolutely certain that the defendant and the victim, Dustin, Dustin Prince, like fingies? That's good. We're in fact lovers. 
Yes, I am quite certain, Your Honor. They were... Well, you see, they were out at night, and the night belongs to lovers. The night belongs to us. They were a well-known couple in the police force. A powerful couple, as the kids say. I've got that riz. Bet no cap, bestie. Detective Gumshoe, please testify for the court the relationship between the victim and the defendant. Yes, sir. Now I keep thinking it's spelt wrong. Officer Prince and Officer Bierde had been going out for about half a year. It sounded like they were even talking about Mariage. The day of the incident just happened to be the victim's birthday, sir. Maggi, I mean, Officer Bierde had gotten Officer Prince a present. It was something she had bought over two months ago. I should know, because she came to me to ask what she should get for him. Oh, those two sound like they were close. Nevertheless, tragedy struck. Mm, yes, I, I see. You may cross-examine the witness, Mr. Wright. <sighs> Dustin and Maggie. Little story about Dustin and Maggie. Officer and Bird have been going out for about half a year. And just how many months is that? I have forgotten. It sounds like they were even talking about marriage. The day the incident just happened to be the victim's birthday, sir. Maggie, I mean, Officer Bird had gotten Officer Prince a present. What was it? Spill the tea over two months ago. Yup, she's a very considerate woman, pal. So, what was this birthday present? She got him a glove. A single glove. Why would she only give him one? Uh, actually, Your Honor, the glove in question is a baseball glove. Oh, I see. A baseball glove. Yes. Uh, Officer Prince was a huge baseball fan. Baseball glove. Hmm. Press further. We always press further in this house. Just now, I believe you said that the present was something she had bought over two months ago. Yeah. Are you saying she bought the glove at a store that far in advance? Nah, no thing like that, pal. Then what is it like? She ordered it. It was custom made. Custom made? The glove was custom made? Yup, that's what I said. Hmm. So the glove was custom made. Jesus. Your Honor, I really don't see how this glove is related to this case. Yes, it would seem that there is little relevance. What do you think, Mr. Wright? Do you think this glove is really relevant to the case if he's left-handed? Your boy's left-handed. That's how you know I'm a genius. <sighs> yeah. I don't know where this will lead me, but... Of course it's relevant. That glove is the key to this whole case! Yes! Bluffing to the ma- I'm not lying. Now this is the Mr. Right I know. A liar. A deceiver. I'm so happy you're back, sir. I was wondering how long it'd take. This is great. Hmm, pressing people. It feels like I've done this before. I recall pressing a man who likes to wear ascots and red suits. He's in this game, right? He's on the cover. As if I used to do this to squeeze information from even the most tight-lipped men wearing ascots and red suits. Very well. If you are that convinced, then let's hear some more about the matter. Actually, I brought the glove with me today. And why didn't you say so earlier? Hurry and show the glove to the court. Well, uh, well, I didn't think it had anything to do with this case. Oh my god, it looks like a banana. Anyway, this is it, sir. It's, uh, rather yellow, isn't it? Baseball glove added to the court record. I think he might be left-handed. Officer, Officer Prince really liked the color yellow. And that's why you had to special order it? Yep, that's right. That and one other reason. He just has Massive appendages, huge and girthy, thick. I miss hearing those hands just clap together. 
I think this court has ha heard enough. It's not getting sexy and fun yet, so this is really off-putting me to go from all the fun, all that energy left over from the previous cases into this. I need to take the tutorial very seriously. Chat, calm down. Stop. Like, comment, share, donate, members, blah, 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 click things. Uh, it is, it is clear that the victim and the defendant were involved with each other. Yes, that's correct, Your Honor. Now, if that is true, it brings up an important question. Yep, my boy is left-handed. Was the name Magi really written by the victim? I see your point, Your Honor. Detective Gumshoe, please tell the court a little more about the name on the ground. Uh, yes, sir. No, but the glove. I've already figured it out. Money, please. I win. Uppies. We first looked into the handwriting. Unfortunately, we couldn't confirm that it was the victim's handwriting. Next, we checked the victim's pointer finger. We found that there was sand trapped under the victim's finger nail. Yeah, that time it was one word. There were also scratches on his skin that were caused by him writing on the ground. From this, we could confirm that the victim wrote this name with his right hand. Hmm. Yes. A perfectly logical conclusion. Now then, Mr. Wright, you may cross-examine the witness. Thank you, Your Honor. He's left-handed, bitches. I'm out. Done. Money, please. First looked into the handwriting. Fortunately, we couldn't confirm that it was the victim's handwriting. Ba -ba! That's sus as fuck. So in the end, you couldn't confirm it? Hey, you don't you look down on us. I told you, we're not a bunch of simpletons, pal. Everyone I knows you can't find out everything you want with scientific investigation. I've heard that before. I, oh, I've never heard that before. Me neither. Nor I. I never heard anything like that at the police academy, sir. Okay, so I modded it up anyway. Can we get a detective who believes in science, please? Just one. Next, we check the victim's pointer finger. Finger, I hardly. His pointer finger? You know, the one you're always pointing and waving around in people's faces. <laughs> Don't tell me it bothers you. Every time you do it, I have a mini heart attack. Cack, 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 cack. It's like you're trying to kill me, pal. In any case, you examined the victim's index finger, correct? Yeah, we figured there should be something on his finger if he had been writing in the sand. Hmm. And the results. We found that there was sand trapped under the victim's finger nail. Ah, uh, there's little scratches on his skin that were caused by him writing on the ground. Do I... Do I object? Does his profile say his dominant hand? Wow, their age difference is strong. Can, can I object? Yeah, how would his arm even get all the way over there? Uh, the killer was... Do I object with that? Or the glove? This is the real mystery, is figuring out how the game wants me to solve the thing I solved 20 minutes ago. Um, press it? Are you absolutely sure about that? I belave in the power of science. Hmm. I wonder if my evidence is solid enough to counter with. Listening to this, you would think there was only one conclusion. The name was definitely written by the victim. But don't you think that would be really strange, sir? If Dustin really wrote that message with his right hand, do you think I would have gone through that much trouble to get him his present? The present? What about it? Okay, so yeah, do the glove. First look at the handwriting. Next check the pointer. Right hand on the ground, right hand. So, there we go. Detective Gumshoe, take a look at this. Sorry, let me, uh, my head's still kind of, take a look at this. Take a look at this. Take a look at this. 
That's the glove, right? Could you tell the court what is special about this glove? What special? I'm um, never really thought about it, but uh, it's really yellow. That's about it. Yes, it's really yellow, but that is only one of its qualities. Huh? There's another reason why it's special. And what would that be? It's very simple. This glove is made for a... Woo! Let's go, lefties. Are we in chat right now? Let's go, left-handed. Left-handed supremacy. Society puts us down by making spiral-bound notebooks face the wrong way and then charge us extra or make us write upside down and then our teacher rejects our papers. I had a lot of trouble with a teacher in elementary school because I was left-handed. She legitimately wanted me held back a year and put into someone else's class. Like, she made my mom cry a lot. We hate her. This glove is made for a left-handed person. And everyone knows, left-handed people fuck the best. <laughs> left haunted? Why, you're absolutely right. This glove is made to be worn on the right hand. My god, science knows no limits. This is why it had to be custom made. I have never seen a bright yellow left-hander's glove for sale, have you? Well, um, no. So, detective, which hand did the victim use to write the name with again? That's easy. Look, it's obvious from this picture that it was hit. Whoa, 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 wait a sec. Don't forget that the victim was left-handed. Hence, fuck's good. Ah. Well, this is, this is, I mean, I object. Classic right-hander over there. Am I right, fellow lefties? Overruled. Mr. Right, I would like to know what your line of reasoning proves. There is only one conclusion that can be drawn. A left-handed person would never kill. A left-handed person could not have written a message with his right hand. Uh, I guess I could, but it would look like shit. And it definitely wouldn't be like that. The angle is impossible, too. Therefore, the person who wrote the name Maggie could not have been the victim. Oh, my God. Order. Order. When you think about it that way, then, yes. It is not possible by... It is not possible that this name was written by the victim himself. Then that means... That means Maggie is... No... It's not possible, Mr. Payne. Yes, Your Honor. The evidence the prosecution has presented has failed to prove the defendant's guilt. In fact, I believe you have proven her to be innocent. No! Justice in my courtroom? All right, you did it, Mr. Wright. Whew. I feel like I can breathe again. And I can go back to embezzling funds. <laughs> well... It's nonviolent, and that's not my department. Bye. It seems that we have reached the conclusion. You did a fine job once again, Mr. Wright. Me, Your Honor? Oh, well, thank you, sir. See, you got complimented by the judge again. You're really good. <laughs> Compliment me. Toss on my hair, Mr. Judge. And that's why you can't give up being a lawyer, sir. Are you joking? I'm more than ready to retire. I will now announce my verdict. This court finds the defendant, Maggie Bird. You motherfucker. No, not yet! I mean, please give me a few more minutes, Your Honor. Well, what is the meaning of this, Mr. Payne? The prosecution is not finished yet! What do you mean? Oh, we would like to call our next witness to the stand. What? And what did this witness, uh, witness? The moment the victim was pushed to his death. All right, so this this person did it then. What's more, he saw the very face of the culprit. What the heck? I fucking love the tense music in this game. Order. Order in the court. Bailiff, please play the banging music. I believe a recess is in order. Afterward, we will hear from this new witness. 
I had a feeling that was a bit too easy. Mm, I need more information. I'll have to see what I can find out during this recess. I hope the swings are free. I can't let my guard down. It's only going to get tougher from here. Court is adjourned for recess. All right. See you next stream chat. Like, subscribe, donate, donate. Become a member. Donate to Thankmas. Donate to me. Become a member. That was the stream. We just finished Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney 2. Uh, I mean, I guess there's no point in keeping the save. I beat it. I just hate overwriting save data. F in the chat for that save file. We have another one there. September 8th, 11.43 a.m. Court District. Hey, hey, Amnesia! I can't believe my lawyer's trying to defend me in such a state. I, uh... Why didn't you tell me, sir? I'm sorry. I, I, I'm sorry I didn't mention it to you. Oh, I know what to do. I heard you can fix something like this with a really strong man in a red suit giving you a kiss. With a really strong shock to your system. Come on, lower your head a little. A Maggie kick should be all you need. Uh, no, 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 no. I think I'll pass on that. Uh, come on. I'm sorry. Whenever I see someone in trouble, I have a hard time leaving them alone. I tend to stick my nose where it doesn't belong and try to tackle everyone's problems. Well, my head's one problem you won't be tackling today. Well, we're here to solve your problem first. We can deal with mine later. For now, do you think you can fill me in on a few things? Good God. She's about to give herself a head injury. Of course. I'd be honored to. Uh, well, I guess we'll start with my name and then I can tell you about me. No, that's okay, really. I, I think I know you and your name pretty well. I was wondering if you could help me figure out a few things about me? So my name is Phoenix Wright. What a weird name. Hmm. This is serious. You really don't remember. I'll tell you what, sir. You can have this back and maybe it'll help. Da ding This is a, bus it's a business card? That looks huge. Hmm. I got this from you. It's my most prized possession. You can borrow it for now, but please give it back. Okay? Okay. There's some numbers written on the back. Oh, that's your cell phone number. <laughs> it's my business card. I guess for now we should stop talking about me and start talking about this case. This case? Yep. Can you think of anything that would be helpful for me to know? Um, well, in this society we only have three days to go through a trial and you probably die by the end of it. No one's really got into that many specifics. It's like the purge with a 72 hour legal process and everyone's assumed guilty. What can I tell you? Uh, um, hmm. I can't think of anything other than the incident with that cell phone, but... Cell phone? Yeah, your eyes lit up when we talked about it at the detention center, sir. Oh no, I got detention? Am I a bad boy? Hurry up and tell me. This might be very important. Okay, Roger. It was on the day of the crime, just before 6 p.m. I picked up a lost cell phone while on a walk with Dustin. My cell phone? Or I, I have someone else's phone. All of a sudden, the phone began to ring. Uh, good morning. Uh, I forgot what... Oh, thank you. I've been searching for my phone. Is this yours? Oh, I'm glad you called. We can meet up and I can give this back. I'll be right there. Um, I'm sorry I didn't catch your name. You can call me Maggie. The Blue Badger. Look at the boy. I'm the Blue Badger. They stole it from me. We agreed to meet up at 6 p.m. Dust and I waited for the person to show up. And then they never did. Mmm. So where is the phone you found now? I gave it to you yesterday. Huh? Me. Is it that phone in my pocket? You mean this? This thing that has my prints and DNA all over it? Do you think it has anything to do with the murder? I don't really know, but if my eyes lit up... Ah, you were here all along! <gasps> Maya! Yay! I was like, when, when's everyone, when's the gang getting back together? You're so mean. I called you a million times, but you wouldn't pick up. 
and when I went to check in the courtroom, everyone you ha everyone had already left. Now, if we can get Miles to show up, I'll remember everything. Ah! Who in the heck is this? Let me guess. I'm supposed to know this girl, too? Hey, good morning, Maggie. Slam. And a good morning to you, too, Maya. So, how's it going? Is there a word for worse than abysmal? Oh, and what if I said that everything will be fine? That's right. It's Maya to the rescue with the ultra-decisive, super-important evidence. Here you are, Nick. The thing you wanted me to bring. Huh? Oh, oh, oh uh, thanks. What the heck is this? A list? Milk, eggs, sugar, red wine, white wine. Still don't know which one Miles likes more. It has about 20 people's names and phone numbers written on it. It was kind of tough, but I managed to dig up some dirt. It looks like these guys are up to no good. No good, as in, there's a group of con artists the police are currently investigating. I think these guys are members of that group. Names list added to the court record. Why would a group of con artists pop up in a case like this? Don't look at me. Uh, and where did you get this list in the first place? What? Don't you remember, Nick? You're the one who asked me to look this up yesterday. Oh, all right. These numbers were in the memory of that phone Maggie found. So that's where they're from. You're awfully forgetful these days, Nick. I hope I never get to be a forgetful old prune like you. Everyone's being so mean to my boy. Um, Maya, actually, Mr. Wright is... Uh, Mr. Wright recess is now over. Please bring the defendant and return to the courtroom immediately. Oh, oops. Guess you have to get going. We can talk about you being old later, okay, Nick? Oh, wish us luck! I guess I have all the pieces now, more or less. Pieces. Pieces of me. All that's left is to put it all together. I'm not going to lose this. I can't. Come on, Nick. Better get a move on. Yeah. September 8th. 11.54 a.m. I'm glad Maya's back. Oh my god, she has no face. Court will now reconvene. Please call your next witness to the stand, Mr. Payne. Yes, Your Honor. But before I do, if I may say a few words? What is it, Mr. Payne? All your rage, all your pain, all your hate. It ain't over now, and I ain't talking about forgiveness. Thank you. It's about the next witness. He has a tendency to say things that rub people the wrong way, you see. So I asked that the court might be a little lenient on... There is no need to give a preface. Just hurry up and call your witness, please. Yes, Your Honor. The prosecution calls its next witness... A drifter who was taking a walk in the park on the day of the murder. And may or may not be an asshole. Look at that asshole. Please state your name for the court, witness. Uh, I'm assuming it's the person on the phone. Before I do, I'd like to clarify a little something. Huh? Oh, all right. Go ahead. Just now, you introduced my wonderful self to the court, correct? I wish I could do, like, a... Like, a consistent, like, James from Pokemon voice, or, like, Pegasus from Yu-Gi-Oh. That's the vibe I get by looking at him. But also, that's the fun of not knowing the characters ahead of time. But it would give me a, hmm, perhaps as a drifter taking a walk, like that kind of feeling. Um, perhaps as a drifter taking a walk. Uh, did, did I? But I will not stand for that. Now you've tinted the court's eyes and colored me wrongly. Surely, I suppose, calling me a uni- Oh my god, I'm not doing that. Everything in my life was of the utmost top grade quality. If I were looking for the perfect top notch unbeatable university, I have a right selection process in the walk- it Yes, yes, I understand. Thank you, Nicole. Yugi boy! Exactly. What is he? A human chatterbox? Uh, I have to question him? Fashion cars, women. Glasses! And of course, university! First rates only need apply. Glasses? But you aren't... And just like that, he revealed himself to be a murderer. That's enough. Your name, witness. I'm really hearing it in Pegasus' voice. 
Oh, is that how you want to play this? Using your power and influence to keep the young people down. I see how you work now. You old people and your dirty tricks. You thought you had me, but you thought wrong. I'm I'm sorry. It it won't happen again. I I have that riz, bestie. Bet no cap. Aw, oh, man. I forgive you. All right, I suppose I could tell you my name. I am Richard Wellington. That's not a pun. That just sounds fancy. I was about to say, it sounds like your name should be Beef. Uh, I am Richard Wellington, the Drifting Virtuoso? The Drifting Virtuoso with a PhD in drifting, as it were. If you wanted to, you could call me a university student in transit. Um, Mr. Wellington, on the day of the murder, you were taking a, uh, strolling through the park, correct? It would appear that you are attached to that word. If you must, then by all means. But I remind you that I am in no way a prepubescent boy. It's a big word to just read on the spot. Uh, out on a walk with mommy, if you know what? Anyway, please testify to this court what you saw during your walk through the park. See, you said it again. Taking a walk. You know you... What you witnessed will do, Mr. Wellington. Big fan of your family's beef. Sorry, I had to say it. I was at the park all afternoon, deep in thought about my life situation. I didn't remember the time all that well, but I do believe it was past 6 p.m. All of a sudden, a police officer falls from above, right in front of my- Oh my god, look at that face. Oh! <laughs> Without a thought, I looked up, and there I met the eyes of a charming young lady. Of course, I remember her sweet face. It was that of the pretty defendant there. The only thing I saw was the banana that fell with the police officer. Objection. It's a baseball glove that was colored yellow. It's custom made. Hmm. That was certainly a decisive testimony. Decisive? Nick, did you hear what he just said? Yeah. That's all you have to say? How can you be so calm? It's strange. My mind is very calm and, and clear. Maybe it's because I believe in the heart of the cards? You mean Maggie? Yes, and if she really is innocent, then that can only mean one thing. That guy is a lying bitch. You may now question the witness, Mr. Wright. I'll find out the truth no matter how well you craft your lies. You mind, you lie craft? Lie craft. That's the name of my hit game. <clears throat> okay, what I saw that day. I was at the park all afternoon, deep in thought about my life situation. I don't remember the last. I don't remember the time all that well, but I do believe it was past 6 p.m. I'm assuming it'll be the banana, but yeah, it was. It was right. It's past 6 p.m. Police officer falls from right in front of my eyes. Out of thought, I looked up. And there I met the eyes of a charming young lady. And the dependent over there. Objection! She's not pretty. The only thing that I saw was the banana. Is that big enough to object? It is. Hell yeah, let's go. No doubt, no fear. Mr. Wellington. I believe I have the bananas you saw right here. I mean, oh, banana. Thank you. No, chat, that wasn't me. That was just the best impression you've ever heard of it. <laughs> Ah, so you know about the bananas, too. Why didn't you say so earlier? Look at those big-ass cuffs. But I don't think you can use this as a way to pull more information out of me. And that's where you'd be wrong. Mr. Wright, what is the meaning of this? Isn't that the baseball glove? Huh? Oh, what? A, a baseball glove? Doesn't it look delicious? Care for a bite? Okay, you got me. I murdered somebody. Like, it's just, I'm so embarrassed. That's... That's not... Uh, no! Your Honor, I think this proves one very important fact. This man is an idiot and he clearly killed somebody. Um, has bad eyesight. Because those were his glasses that were broken. By the way, just how bad are your eyes? Huh? How? What? You... 
Why are you asking me this all of a sudden? Jesus. Your Honor, it is very simple to mistake a glove for a bunch of bananas. Why, I do it all the time. <laughs> I had a child in Little League, you see, and well, let's just say his hand doesn't close so good anymore. Because I gave him a banana instead of a glove. No, I don't think so. Objection overruled. You, you, you're one of those people. Yes, you know what I mean. The ones with the LGBT. Oh my god. In the end, when viewed from afar, I don't think this room enough for... Okay. I need control over the text to do my amazing voices. And that is why I asked you how bad your eyesight is. They're about 2,200. I suppose you're going to tell me that's terrible, right? Why are you not wearing your glasses today, then? Uh, uh, that's because I lost them recently, you see. Of course, I was planning on getting a new pair made right away. But you know... My glasses are no ordinary glasses, so to replace them, we'd have to revive Ben Franklin himself. How about when you witnessed the crime? Were you wearing your glasses then? Oh my god. Uh. How about it, witness? And please don't make eye contact with me while you choke yourself. You, you're an unrelenting evil man. You, you're like the people, Joan of Arc. What the fuck does this dude say? Sir, please refrain from comparing yourself to Joan of Arc, which boils which boils down to... I wish I could understand what he was saying so fast. Which boils down to you were not wearing your glasses at that time. Therefore, the identity of that woman at the scene of the crime and that of the defendant cannot be proven to, to be the same by the witness. Cannot be proven to be the same by this witness. Uh, but the height difference was only nine feet. Oh my god, the victim was nine feet tall? I'm so sorry for your loss, ma'am. It was very possible for him to see the face of the culprit standing on the upper path. Hmm. Witness, please be more accurate in your testimony. Remember, a person's life is at stake. Yes, yes, your honor. Now then, please continue with your testimony. Please tell the court what happened next in the moments after you witnessed the crime. Didn't I just confirm that he didn't witness shit? Some of these faces are fucking cursed, dude. The girl on the upper path ran ran away as fast as she realized I, as as soon as she realized I was there. After that, I immediately called the police to report the crime. It must have been 6:45 p.m. when I made the call. They must have a lot of free time on their hands since they showed up within 10 minutes. Hmm. So the person who was on the upper path saw you and then run, ran away. Yes, that is correct. Which is why even someone without a superior brain like mine can understand that. The girl is the murderer. You may question the witness now, Mr. Wright. All right, when did he say he made that call? I don't trust him. Those eyelashes are fake as fuck. Call me the other path. All right. 6.45 when I made the call. Can I look at it? Wait, can I not? I can't check my own evidence? Oh, no. Wait. It took you 15 minutes to call 911 immediately? As in, as in immediately. I mean, sure, a minute might have elapsed before I did, but that's the duty of every good citizen. Or did they not teach you that at your pitiful school? How I met the love of my life at that school. How dare you? I think people learn how to call the police in college. Hey, Nick, I think you should take a look at the court record. Oh, there we go. I have to look at the court record first. Or no. I did. Maya, I did. Okay, is it the phone log? I, the time of death? Objection. Let's go! Fucking pogers! <laughs> Real ones know because they are in my stupid nine hour stream of madness. Mr. Wellington, would you please take a look at this? 
You mean the victim's autopsy report? According to this, the murder occurred at 6.28 p.m. So what of it? You said that you called the police immediately after the murder took place. However, by the time you had called the police, it was already 6.45 p.m. There is clearly a 15-minute gap here. Do you deny it? Uh, 17, Phoenix, come on. H hitting your head is not an excuse for bad math. Ah! I think this court would like to hear what you were doing during this 15-minute gap. <laughs> the witness was in shock at the time after witnessing a terrible murder. It's only to be expected that he would be a little dazed. Shut your little ass up. 15 minutes is hardly what I would call a little dazed. <laughs> Mr. Wellington. Yes? Explain yourself. What were you doing during those 15 minutes? Answer the question. I, uh, telephone. Uh, uh, I mean, uh, who? Spit it out. I, I was searching for a phone booth. A phone booth? In 2023? A phone booth? You mean... You don't have a cell phone? Mm, you and your questions, as if you're trying to open all the layers of a what the fuck doll? Mat matri mat matrioshka 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 doll. I'm sorry. You must think you're really something special. Witness. I I lost my cell phone. There. Are you happy? You lost it. Oh, a rushing us and all. Thank you. Unbelievable. You you lose your glasses and your cell phone. You must be very scatterbrained when it comes to your belongings. What, are you saying that first-rate people are never allowed to lose things? Haven't you ever... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. If chat help. Enough. Oh, man, oh, man. Wait. Hold on a second. He lost his... Cell phone? Nick, that cell phone, could it be? You mean this phone Maggie found? There's no way. Boy, I didn't see this coming. What should I do now? Question further. Mr. Wellington, where is your cell phone right now? Huh? What are you getting all excited about? You seem to be a little confused. I found my phone, I'll have you know. See? Here it is. Oh, I see. Hmm. Looks like he's got his phone. And I thought that just maybe this was his. Hmm. Well then, I think we've cleared this issue up. At the time of the murder, the witness did not have his cell phone because he had lost it. Therefore, the delay in his call was caused by his search for a phone booth. Well, that's the gist of it. I guess you could put it... I guess you could put it that way and leave it at that. Do you have any further que... Yes! Always more questions. Your Honor, the witness's testimony does not make any sense. I don't believe that there is ever a need for the witness to search for a phone. Phone booths are extinct. H How dare you? You can't just make outrageous claims like that. You do have some sort of proof, don't you? Uh, well, yeah, uh, of course. Uh, the evidence should be good enough, I think. All right, let's have this proof then. Please, present proof that the witness had no need to search for a public phone booth. Look at a fucking calendar. Um. I guess the phone itself, right? It's like, then there's like the list of con artist names. Oops. Yeah. It's very simple. This is the evidence that backs up my claim. And yet again, you present you presented this court with an obtuse, meaningless item. Huh? What? I don't get you at all, Nick. Why do you think he wouldn't need to look for a phone in the first place? Well, that's because I was looking at the evidence and it just hit me. I thought, 
hey, he really didn't have to look for a phone. Then why don't you hurry up and present that piece of evidence? I thought that was it. All right, let's have this proof then. Okay. That's the only other thing is the... Yeah, nothing about his profile would do... I... Adding that is going to make my life hell. It's very simple. This is the evidence that backs up my claim. God damn it. Oh, is it in a photo maybe? Yep. Sorry, um, we kind of jumped into the final day of this case. I'm not familiar with all the evidence. This doesn't count. Uh, no one's... No, we don't have any new members or donations or thing miss donations in, in, in a minute. I, oh, I'm running low. Oh, I'm running low on fuel. Click things. Like, share, comment, subscribe. I put all my pro gaming into Mario RPG, Lies of P. Um, it's quite simple, actually. Please take a look at this. Ah, at the crime scene photo. Is there a problem with it? Oh, there's nothing wrong with the picture. But if you don't understand my logic after looking at it, something's wrong with you. No. It's, it's, it's a phone booth. That is correct. All the defendant had to do was walk three steps towards a dead body. Mr. Wellington, why did you not use the phone that was right in front of you? Oh my God. I really, it's freaking me out that he's choking himself. Order, order. Well, what does reporting the crime a little late prove for the defense? The witness can't explain what he was doing for those 15 minutes. That is reason enough to throw suspicion on his testimony. Yes, this is very true. What do you have to say for yourself, witness? That I... Then I bet this phone really is his, Nick. Really is his, Nick. He must have killed Dustin to get his phone back. But Maggie said that she was going to return it to him. So there was no reason for him to kill for it. And on top of that, we still have the phone she found anyway. Hmm. But if he wasn't looking for his cell phone, maybe he was looking for something else? Hmm? Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor? Do you have any thoughts you would like to share with the court? Can you offer an explanation as to what the witness was doing during those 15 minutes? Yeah. There's only one possible explanation. All right, let's hear your explanation. However, be forewarned that if your explanation is not persuasive, you will be penalized. Think carefully before you present, Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor. Good. I probably should have said that there was only one possibility. Oh, fuck. Please present to the court that one piece of evidence that will answer the following. Why didn't the witness call the police right away? Because he's the murderer and a con man. Because he was... I'm, I, I'm trying to think of the game's logic here. Because he was staging the crime scene? Right? Because he was staging the crime scene. Yeah, he was too busy doing that shit. Perhaps this is the evidence you need to be... Nah, it's too big. Perhaps. What? Uh, what's your logic, game? I feel like that would work. I suggest that perhaps you should find a better piece of evidence. Fuck. He was doing that. Because he's guilty as fuck. The cell phone, then? Am I trying to prove that that was his cell phone? 
What is the game's logic here? phone number <clears throat> nope what what logic am I supposed to be following right now Not this again. Because he's a wanted con man? Because his, those are his glasses and they broke? There we go. No damage run. Still, still on, Mr. Wellington. What? Don't do that. You almost gave me a heart attack. These are your glasses, aren't they? Huh. Where? Where did you find? I believe the court all heard what you just confessed to. That these glasses are in fact yours. I'll tell you where they were where they were found, Mr. Wellington. These glasses were found under the victim's body. Uh under the v v victim's body. Order. Order. N oh, wait a second, hold on. I didn't confess or confirm anything. Your Honor. I think the answer is quite clear here. As he fell, Dustin Prince... <laughs> annoying. Grabbed the culprit's glasses. That should be the victim's name is Dustin Prince, because he was a cop. The culprit knew that he had to give his... That he had to find his glasses and search frantically for them. What he didn't realize was they were under the victim's body. And that is why it took him 15 minutes to make that call. Trying to be, like, dramatic and intense without shouting into this microphone. <laughs> Someone's just vibing and chilling right now, and they don't need me screaming. Mr. Wright, are you... Are you indicating the witness as the real murderer? Yes, Your Honor, since we live in a society where not only do I have to exonerate my client, but I have to figure out who done it. You bet your ass. Of course, that is precisely what I'm doing. ooh wee -oo, I look just like Buddy... I know I'm right. He is the real murderer. Did you figure it out, Nick? More or less. Ugh. Turns out this cell phone was the key to this case after all. Anyway, now's our chance to... <laughs> That's not how I read that. To deep six this guy. With deep nuts. I'll sink him in one shot. Yeah. This is so exciting watching you work again. Somehow, my old self is coming back to me. It's time to sink or swim. Everything rests on the edge of a knife. This is the moment I've been waiting for. Ladies and gents. Order. Order. Your Honor, the defense, the defense is making a mockery of this court. Without any solid ground to stand on, he accuses the witness of being the murderer. Y yeah that's right. I, I'm no criminal. The, this is third-rate fraud of a lawyer. This third-rate fraud of a lawyer. In that case, why don't we look at it from a different perspective? Let's hear you, your explanation as to why you are not the murderer. Why, that's, that's easy. Um, 
for example, um, the name the victim wrote. What about that? Oh, you mean the name Maggie? Yeah, even an idiot like you can read that, right? But we already know this was not written by the victim himself. After all, I love that little animation. It's so silly. He's slapping the paper. After all, the defendant's name is Maggie, and the victim was left-handed. In other words, in order to make the defendant look guilty, the real criminal used the victim's right hand to write her name on the ground. But, 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 wouldn't that mean that the real criminal was someone the defendant knew? Of course, he, he, how else would that person know her name was Maggie or Maggie? That is a good point. The victim didn't even know of Miss Bird before this trial. Uh, I forgot. Hmm. Was there any way this creep could have known Maggie's name beforehand? Oh, death finds a way. It would be best if I could prove that the witness had a chance to learn that the defendant's name was Maggie. Now, will the defense please present its case? How could the the, the witness <laughs> ugh, how could the witness have known the defendant's name? From the phone. Mr. Wellington, you didn't have your cell phone with you on the day of the murder, correct? So what if I didn't? When you realized you had lost it, what did you do? What did I do? Didn't you try to find it by calling it? Why, you, how to? Your Honor, these questions have nothing to do with. Overruled. Mr. Wright, where are you going with this line of questioning? Do you think there is some relation between the witness's cell phone and the murder? I do, Your Honor. On the day of the murder, Maggie Bird picked up a lost phone in the park. And she also received a phone call from the owner of the phone. Beep. Um, hello? Hello? Oh, thank you. I've been searching for my phone. Phone. Is this yours? Oh, I'm glad you called. We can meet up and I can give this back. 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 I'll be right there. Um, I'm sorry. I didn't catch your name. You can call me Maggie. 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 Blue Badger. That was when you learned that her name was Maggie. Uh, 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 uh. But you made one fatal mistake. Fatal mistake. My client's name is Maggie, but the name that was written on the ground was Maggie. This is a mistake that could only occur if you only knew how her name was sounded. Oh my god. He keeps choking himself. Order, order. Uh, but your honor, the witness has no motive. And your point is, it's very simple, Your Honor. A person usually would not kill someone without a reason. Bitch, listen to a fucking podcast. Mr. Wellington had no reason to kill anyone. That is absolutely correct. I don't have a motive. Hmm. Mr. Wright. Your Honor. Can you explain what motive this witness could have had? <laughs> it's very simple, Your Honor. Eh. Uh, are you sure, Nick? If I said I can't offer an explanation, then the trial's over, right? Yeah, but... Now then, please present to the court proof that the witness had a motive. The names on a piece of paper were on that phone. Or he just hates yellow. Or he really wanted a banana. Let's go! <clears throat> knew it. Mr. Wellington's motive is right here. What is this? Uh, a list. These phone numbers were pulled from the memory of the phone that the, 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 pulled from the memory of the phone the defendant found. And we have determined that the people on this list are members of a certain group. You. You looked up all those numbers. Of course. This list of phone numbers was stored in the cell phone's memory. The names and numbers belong to people who are members of a certain... Oh, he actually said it. I thought it was still going to be members of a certain group. Members of a certain con artist group. Yes, we're cosplayers. We're artists who go to cons. Well, let's 
con artists. Can you explain why these numbers were on your phone, Mr. Wellington? This, this is an outrage, an invasion of privacy. Looking up the phone numbers on a person's phone is the worst crime than murder. Come on, man. You, you're one of those people. You're just like the cops who raided the, oh my God. Dialogue with the goddess. I don't care, Mr. Wellington. All I want is for you to tell us about that, what this list is about. You, you think any of you know what it's like to be a refined man such as me? Your Honor, this, this is unjustified badgering of the witness. Objection overruled. Mr. Wright, what is the meaning of this? Why would the witness have the number of a group of con artists on his phone? Isn't that obvious? The witness is banging them. A member. Mr. Wellington is a member of this very group. Jesus. Oh, you know what would be kind of tight? If then somehow all the cases we do in the game are connected to that group and we take them all down. And then Phoenix and Edgeworth have to go into witness relocation together. And there's only one bed in the hotel. <laughs> there's only one bed in the hotel. Yeah. All of our, all, all of our, all of your friends phone numbers are stored right here on this phone. If anyone were to look into these phone numbers, it would be all over for you. That is why you had to kill. Ugh. No, this is too much. <laughs> no, this is too much. Mm. That does make quite a bit of sense. Well, Mr. Wellington. Would you care to explain? I, um, I, I got you now. I, that, I, that police officer. Your Honor. What is it, Mr. Payne? Your Honor, this, this is unjustified badgering of the witness. You said the exact same thing only a few seconds ago. P -p 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 please <laughs> please let's think about the content of the phone call uh hello hello oh thank you I'm using my phone is this yours oh I'm glad you uh huh well, the defendant had already promised that she would return the phone after that all mr Wellington had to do is meet miss bird and to get his phone back why then would he need to kill anyone that is a valid point. We don't want an innocent witness going to jail, but an innocent de uh, an innocent defendant, why not? What does the defense think about this? Mm, me think stri yucky, stricken from the record. That's what me thinks. Ew. Yucky, ew. Yikes, big oof. That's what we think, right, chat? If you think about it logically, then it makes sense. Then maybe we should be thinking outside the box. Yeah, if we think like that, let's see. Maybe that slime ball saw something at the crime scene that made him commit murder. Well, I don't think Mr. Wellington went to pick up his phone in a very friendly manner. But he was promised his phone, so why would he have been unfriendly to the defendant? Because he's a criminal and he saw a cop. I think he must have seen something that didn't agree with him when he got there. Well then, Mr. Wright... What was this something that didn't agree with the witness? The bananas. Um. That he's a policeman. What Mr. Wellington saw. There we go. Let's fucking go. What Mr. Wellington saw was the victim. The. The victim? You mean Dustin Prince? Dustin Prince had gone on his date right after his shift was over. With no time to change, he went to the park still wearing his police uniform. Oh. He looks so unhappy. <laughs> Why the fuck is she picking up random phones off the ground? It's so dirty. The girl that picked up my phone is with the with a policeman. He couldn't have known that they were going out, so he began to worry. He was afraid the policeman would ask a few questions before returning the phone. If I do anything suspicious, he might run a check on my phone. In his mind, it was possible that he'd already run a check on the phone. 
And he went into a panic, is what you're saying. Exactly. Officer Prince was murdered simply because he was in uniform. Mr. Payne, do you have any comments? I, um, I'm thinking... Hmm. Seems the truth has come out. At last. The witness. Mr. Wellington, you are... Huh. <laughs> oh my good God. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Not bad for some of the third rate education. God damn it. What's that supposed to mean? The University of Samoa is no one is is a fine and accredited establishment go land crabs the evidence evidence uh that guy is really creeped me out oh my i can't focus it's so much all you've been waving all all, all you've been waving around and talking about is that suspicious cell phone suspicious phone number this suspicious con group that they're all on that phone but who's going to say the phone is really mine where's your proof your evidence you want proof that this phone is yours Ah, he, he, he. I already told you earlier, you see. The phone I lost, I've already found it. You don't even the slightest I you don't even you don't even have the slightest idea of who the phone in your hand belongs to. But you can be sure it isn't mine, you simpleton. What the fuck? What? He, 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 he. It feels good to see you squirm. That was the wrong voice. Hmm. Why do you seem to have a problem? We do seem to have a problem on our hands with this phone. It doesn't have any games on it. Whose phone is it? Without knowing that, it's meaningless as evidence. Y Your Honor. This is bad. I can't let him turn the tables on me like this. <sighs> this cell phone. There has to be something I've overlooked. There's got to be... Mm, Maybe. I feel like both would work. Fingerprints on the phone. This one's for you, Dustin. I got it. We should check for fingerprints. Something I learned in the extra case at the end of Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney 1. <laughs> Emma Sky <laughs> to, <laughs> to the courtroom. Finger. I hardly... Prince? Your Honor, did em Emma Sky walked so Phoenix Wright could run? Did you learn nothing from the teenager in the previous case? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Wellington must have left some prints on his phone. Nick, don't you remember? When you got that from Ma Maggie, you wiped it off. I what? You said that there was sand all over it, so... W -w wiped I wiped it? Pretty thoroughly, too. Why? It's oh so much fun watching third-rate trash babble like morons amongst themselves. Ah, uh, he's he's made a complete recovery. How many times do I have to say this? My phone is right here, you see. Oh, and incidentally, you can check the numbers stored on this phone. It's fucking new, you ass. It must have glitched because all the numbers just magically disappeared. You've got to be joking. He erased all the numbers I was going to use as evidence. Mr. Wellington, check the phone records. Something. I guess it, uh, I'll just tell myself it's a burner. What's this? By the tone of your voice, it sounds like you still have some fight left in you. <clears throat> Where did you finally find your cell phone? Mother. Enough. Oh, my God. Oh, you are too much. And, of course, you have no idea what I'm talking about. I, I, oh, my God. Now I remember. God. Smash. Something about seeing him with his jacket off. I didn't appreciate it at the top of this. 
Looks like they hung up. Ah, good. I finally found it. My Gorgon Eye Restrict. So that's when... What's wrong, Mr. Attorney? Why the harsh glare in your eyes? Nick, we've worked so hard to get this far, but if you don't do something quick, he's gonna get off scot-free. I know. I know this phone has to be his, but how am I supposed to prove something like that? Mr. Wright, if you cannot prove who the owner of that cell phone is, you won't get a sticker on your report card. Your indictment has no basis and therefore no power. It looks like there's like a there's like an extra hair stuck in my beard or something. That was weird. It looks like you came up a penny short. What where do where did I go wrong? Don't blame yourself. You're merely a third-rate lawyer. You only made one big mistake. Who are you? What are you? That's something you haven't figured out for yourself yet. Who I am? This co the court hereby... Co that was such an existential... The court hereby concludes the cross-examination. Hey, Hank. <laughs> if that will be all, I'll have to bid you gentlemen and ladies goodbye. I'm doing it, aren't I? There's like a rough foundation of a Pegasus impression I've never tried before. I have a re reservation at an ultra-fancy restaurant on the upper side of town. <laughs> Thank you for your assistance. You've had a stressful day, so please, bone app it. What am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to just let it go? Um, I think we're good here. <laughs> please wait, Your Honor. All right, Nick. I think I may be able to prove it. Prove it? Prove what, Mr. Wright? Everything. Your Honor, the cross-examination has already ended. Besides, the defense is just going to badger the witness with more inane questions. You will not harass the witness. Is that clear, Mr. Wright? Did you hear that? No harassment allowed, <laughs> attorney boy. Please, Your Honor. Very well, but this is your last chance, Mr. Wright. Diding, you may present one piece of evidence to the court. I only get one shot at this. If you cannot prove anything, it's over for your client and for you. Do you fully understand? Jesus. I'm sure you are well aware, Your Honor, but the cross-examination period has ended. Were you paying attention, Mr. Payne? I said that Mr. Wright could present only one more piece of evidence. Oh. Now then, Mr. Wright, this is your last chance to make your mark. History will know who we are. This is your last chance. Make it all count. It's now or never. It all comes down to this. It's go time. Edgeworth stands up. Phoenix, right now I can hardly breathe. Oh, that's what I want. I want the... The high school musical Phoenix Wright crossover of a lifetime. Oh, my shoulders. Ugh. Fuck. The one piece of evidence that will explain everything. Yeah, right? I'm using video game logic, and I feel like I shouldn't, but I'm like, this is the only evidence we haven't used so far. So is that... Is that the answer? The business card? Is it profiles? I feel like it's the business card. I gotta believe in Grandpa's deck. <laughs> My grandfather's court record has no pathetic evidence, Kaiba, but it does have 
Phoenix's business card. No, impossible. Why, thank you, how nice. I have always admired your uh, passion. Here, please, have one of mine. Oh my god, thank you. Dude, we're gonna bang the judge. Wait, what am I doing? This is the time to be exchanging business cards, Your Honor. There is something very important about that card, and that is... Oh, fuck you. I need to look at it. I need to look at it. I can't examine it. Uh... The back of the card? Because my number was written on it. Because something happened to my cell phone situation. Fuck yeah. This card is important because of what is on the back. Call me, baby. I told Edgeworth if he doesn't if he doesn't if he doesn't return my calls in the next 24 hours, I'm dating the judge. Hmm? You wrote your cell phone number on the back, but but that's that's exactly it. Can you please call this number from your cell phone? Oh, because he knocked me out and he swapped the phones to try to get rid of his cell phone. Uh, right now, but court is still in session. It's okay. You'll see. Okay, if you say so. Is the defense preparing something, Mr. Wright? We are going to call my cell phone now. And then the court will see everything for what it is. Phoenix, what's your phone number? I, it should be saved in your phone. I saw you typing it in. Uh... <laughs> and then the court will see everything for what it is. Oh... Of all the idiotic, stupid things to... Is music from the game? Ah! Well, what? What is... Why is my phone? And what is with the stupid sounding ringtone? Mr. Wellington? Da ding Hmm. How strange. I could almost swear that you're holding my phone. Your, uh, no, 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 it can't. By the way, before I forget, thank you very much for the lump on my head this morning. So now you're getting double murdered. Uh, I don't think I need to explain any further except to say, when you went to retrieve your cell phone, you mistakenly took the wrong one. Wait, what? Oh, he tried to take it from the defendant and he took Phoenix's phone. Uh, holy shit. Oh my god. Bailiff! Bailiff! Well, that'll save us on lethal injection or rope. F in the chat? So that is what happened. You were knocked out by Mr. Wellington. He is a man who lives on his pride. Yes, pride. And self image alone. And in order to hide his involvement with the con artist group, he has become paranoid and lost all ability to make rational judgment. Hmm. Then, and Mr. Wright, the phone you're holding, it's Mr. Wellington's, naturally. Speaking of that man, how is he, Mr. Payne? Uh, he, he was arrested, has been taken away, Your Honor. Hmm. Get the fuck out of my courtroom. Very well. Now then, this court finds the defendant, Maggie Bird. Not guilty! Yay! New confetti! Clap, clap, damn it. Clap, chat, clap. That is all. This court is adjourned. How long is case number, I guess, one? Case number two. I don't like this no. Uh, it's the second case is lengthy. Fuck. I knew that the real I knew that the real the real you would shine through eventually. I'm so moved by what you've done for me. Jesus. Thank you so much, Mr. Wright. I feel really bad for Dustin. He didn't do anything to deserve this. Well, 
It's probably because of me. Huh? My whole life has been nothing but a whirlwind of bad luck and failures. What? Your whole life? It can't be that bad, can it? Since I was six months old, when I fell from the ninth floor of my apartment building, I've been hit by all sorts of vehicles, gotten sick from all sorts of food, and that was just in the second months of my existence. The second six months of my existence. Failed at almost every test I've ever taken, experienced almost every kind of disaster, and never won or even tied at a game of tic-tac-toe. My life has really been nothing but a string of disasters. That is, uh... That is, uh, pretty bad. Up until I went to college, I was known as the goddess of misfortune. I mean, that's kind of badass. Oh, that's mean. And then at the academy, everyone called me Lady Luckless. Lady Luckless? What's worse is that my misfortune always seemed to latch on to those around me. What do you, what do you mean? When I see someone in trouble, I always try to help. That's, that's right. You were talking about this earlier. It happened again recently too, sir. There was an old lady pacing back and forth by the pedestrian crosswalk. I gave her my hand and before I knew it, she exploded. We were having dinner at my house, queen. Oh, I'm sure that Dustin's gone because, of Jesus. I'm sure that Dustin's gone because of me. That's not true. That glove didn't even have any sort of special meaning. It was just a present to say thanks for covering one of my night shifts. Oh, I see. Everything is all my fault. Dustin's death, your head being all messed up. Uh, well, I, I don't think my head is that messed up yet. I'm going to find a new life for myself starting now. Next time we meet, I'm sure I'll... I'm sure I'll have found a whole ocean's worth of good luck by then, sir. Yeah, after all, the goddess of misfortune is only a name. <laughs> Ladies, gents, and theys, give it up for the g -g 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 goddess of misfortune. You bet. I'm gonna make. I'm gonna make it. I promise. Next time we meet, I'll only be an unlucky person instead of a goddess. Y yeah. That's the spirit. Yeah, Hank makes a good point. That actually makes you very lucky to be alive after all that. Well, Mr. Wright, Maya, I should get going. Okay, good luck to you. God damn. Thanks. You take care of yourselves too. Bye-bye. And then she exploded the instant she left the courtroom. What a horrible day. I've gotten my memory back, but things are still a little fuzzy. But you're okay, and that's what counts. You really had me worried. Come on, let's go back to the office. Hmm, I'm afraid to ask, but here goes. So this might sound bad. Uh, who are you? What? I thought you said you got your memory back. At that moment, everything really did come back to me. And it's all coming back to me now. Detective Gumshoe. He's someone I've had clashes with in the past during certain cases, but he's always been a good ally during others. Thank you for supporting. Does the judge have a name? Nope, the judge. He's a lovable, kind old man who's easily swayed by other people's opinions, but in the end, he always comes up with the right verdict. Good old stinky. <laughs> this person! <laughs> girl. Maya? You... You finally remembered. This is Maya Faye. Maya Assistant. That's right. I have so many unforgettable memories. Wait, I thought Maya left. She just came back then? For example... Earth to Nick, what's wrong? You keep staring at me. Don't tell me you've missed me. Oh, she does come back. Okay, cool. I'm like, where is this in the timeline? Uh, well, yeah. I suppose I have. I feel like I haven't seen you in ages. Oh? Well, I'm back now. 
So it's time for us to create new memories together. Yay! Okay, so Maya's in the second one. I was worried because she wasn't in my thumbnail wallpaper picture that I found. Alright, sounds good. All the phone numbers on my phone were erased by Mr. Wellington. I guess I have to start over from the very beginning. Come on, Nick. Let's go to our usual burger joint. Okay, okay. Actually, it hasn't even been that long since she came back into my life. And that story... That story began on one rainy afternoon two months ago. Oh, yeah. Okay, I was like, I want to know what happened, but I don't care. Maya's back. Cool. Hello? Do you go to the same spirit medium camp? A brand new episode has been added. This scared child has been accused of murder. Ah, uh, good old Pwa. My favorite. Alright, episode two. Uh, can we get a let's go in chat for episode two? Like, subscribe, comment, donate to Thankmas, donate to me, become a member to do both. Ugh. Man, I clench my shoulders too much when I do these kind of games. Ugh. Oh my god. Okay. I'm ready. Over right. Oh yeah, cuz I'm saving. Let's go. Thank you. Ooh, we've got a fast car. I've got a ticket. Oh my god. I was drugged with sleeping pills. I was murdered by that person. Oh my god. That's why I took my revenge. It's only fair, isn't it? I, I, any? Iny? An I? Oh my god. Maya, you almost, you killed another person. Wait, did she kill another person? I finally get to see you again, and it's not your fault. You didn't do it. No, I, I did it. I killed that person, but that, that wasn't you. It doesn't matter. It might as well have been me. What? Now I kind of wish I didn't know that Maya comes back to join Phoenix. God, she killed again. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I can't believe something like this happened. The events of that gloomy, rainy afternoon that started this whole mess keep playing through my mind. Pride Month! Uh-oh. Hello? What depressing rain. Do you understand how depressed that makes me? Do you? Uh, I guess. I mean, I guess he just has a thing for men with, with white and or graying hair. Where's Edgeworth? But actually, more than being depressed, I'm angry. Angry at that weather girl on TV. I think our little rainy spell will take a break with a day of sun. Is that what the girls, that girl said? I'd stake my life on it. Well, it's... It's the weather. That's why I didn't bother to bring an umbrella today. What nerve, calling herself a weather girl. She's gonna hear about my $1,500 suit. Um, about your... your case? Unless you're planning on suing the weather girl. 
I'm... I'm sorry. I thought that before we got down to business, we could have some friendly chatter. My name is D Dr. Turner Gray. My name is Dr. Turner Gray. I'm a surgeon. Remind me to never end up under his knife. I'm here today because of this incident. Oh my god. Mal malpractice at Gray Surgical Clinic. 14 inpatients lose their lives. Oh, you're the doctor at... It's really quite upsetting. Did you hear me? Did you hear me? Upsetting! Yes, yes, I heard you. I agree, it's quite upsetting, Dr. Gray. The one that screwed up was that nurse. It was her that got the medications mixed up and killed those 14 patients. And yet, now listen good, and yet, that nurse had the nerve to go and die before admitting to a wrong. Jesus. <coughs> she didn't even offer any sort of explanation to me. And this is the kicker. She up and has herself a grand old accident and crashes her car. Smash, crunch, instantly transforming her into the accordion model. Fuck, dude. Hi, I'm the third Bill, and this is my demo reel. Um, what? Oh, thank you, Happy Hank. The boy, in, for, before I forget, love the boy in the heron video. You always have really interesting character dives and plot analyses that I find fascinating. Thank you, Hank. Fucking no one. I get that I was forced to. I wasn't forced. I needed to take a break after people said awful things about my appearance and where my family might be from. Um, but thank you, Hank. No one's fucking watching that video. That made me really sad. Because I I really did let out some of that chaotic energy in that editing. I'm very proud of some of it. Um, that's right. About a year ago, all the tabloid shows were talking about it. I needed that today, Hank. Thank you. 14 victims of medical malpractice. The nurse's mysterious fatal accident. Well, then who's that? There were rumors that Dr. Gray had actually caused that crash. People said it was for it was to forever hide the person responsible for the malpractice incident. The MP14 incident, as it will be later called. Why would I? Now I'm just going to say this once. Why on earth would I want to kill that nurse? She's the one who killed those 14 patients, not me. I think you need to take a deep breath, Doctor, and focus. More to the point, this case is over a year old. Why bring it up now? That's simple, because the situation is slipping out of my grasp. This just won't do. My clinic isn't seeing nearly as many patients nowadays. Do you understand what that means? It means they're not coming to my clinic. You don't say. If it were me, I don't think I'm gonna go either. So, what would you like me to do about it? I want you to cause an accident and come to my hospital. I want you to help me prove I'm innocent. Ah, uh, you do realize I'm a lawyer, not a private investigator? No, this is something only you can do. Huh? Maya Faye, you know this girl, correct? M Maya, why would he know her name? I heard you were working under her for a while. That's funny. Well, yeah, I mean, hey, wait a second. My assistant, more like Maya boss. <laughs> Maya, Mia, what a confusion. Like, comment, donate to Thinkness, donate to me, become a member to do both, subscribe, ring the bell. Click things. I worked under her? Yes, am I wrong? She told me, so I'm not quite sure if... Well, we worked a few trials together when I was her mentor slash guardian, but she went back to her hometown to undergo more training. Ah, uh, yes, I heard. It must be lonely for you. Well, what? Wait, I'm not. She must be an extraordinary girl to handle such rigid training. Huh? I have an acquaintance who knows a lot about these mystical sort of things. She's the one who introduced me to Miss Faye. Is Maya... Am I really that famous? And I've already set up an appointment. For what? What else? A channeling. 
I'm going to have I'm going to have her call the spirit of that nurse that went and got herself killed. Oh. My uh I, I wonder what she's up to right now. We, the women of the Fae Clan, have always been spirit mediums. It's because the power to commu the power to communicate with spirits flows strongly through us. Us. That's what she that's what she told me. I guess she's learned to accept her responsibilities and become an adult. Not counting training, this will be her first time channeling a spirit. So she gave me one condition before accepting my request. A condition? The condition is you, Mr. Wright. She said that she wouldn't do the channeling without first seeing you again. Mama, me? That is why I've searched you out. You want to see her too, don't you? Meh. And so, that is how I ended up visiting Maya's hometown with the doctor. Oh, Juneteenth. Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney 2 is ahead of its time. So this is Curian Village. Maya's hometown. Or Curran? Why, hello there! Thank God. I don't think I could do a child's voice very well. Uh, what an odd little girl. Hey, wait up, Pearly! Uh, someone else is coming this way? Nick! I just wanted to pause. <laughs> like, she just screams and runs up. M Maya, how are you? It it's good to see you again. Wow, I didn't think you'd really show up. It's not that big a deal. You made it sound like you were so far away. Well, maybe I exaggerated just a little. It was only two hours by train. If I had known you were this close, I'd have visited more. No, you're not allowed. I already decided, you know. Until I become an adult, I have to work hard and be strong by myself. Oh. Well, anyway, congratulations. I'm glad to hear your training's going well for you. Chat, can I ask a weird question? These games don't want me to want them together, right? Right worth for life? Right? Anime's real. Hee <laughs> hee. Looks like you finally become a full-fledged spirit medium, taking on your first job. Yeah, I didn't think it would be this soon. But this case, do you know the messy story behind it? <laughs> no. Behold the power of the Maya Intelligence Network. Let's see, 14 people died because of malpractice on Dr. Gray's part, right? And to pin the blame on the nurse, he killed her in what appeared to be a car accident. Huh? Uh, so, what is this Maya Intelligence Network anyway? They joke occasionally, but I don't think it's ever meant to be taken seriously. Okay, cool. I, I'd i still be having the time of my life playing these silly games, but... Okay. <clears throat> Some may disagree. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure it's a conversation. Also, when these games came out, I was in, like, middle school, so I'd be like, Yeah, a, a girl about my age. Nothing's wrong with this. You know what I mean? Like, it's... Ugh, like, I'm sure there's tons of people who grew up. But at some point, you gotta take a step back. Ugh. Ugh, okay. Oh, my butt. Oh, are they... Oh, uh, they are... There's weird jokes made? Okay. Well, not here, please. Maya Mia, she's a child. Can we get Nev in the chat for Mia Faye? I feel like the people who want the uh, heteronormative Phoenix Wright path um, <laughs> would have had a more viable option for that if Mia Faye was still alive. Um, but no, this is a Wrightworth community. Thank you, chat. Uh, the tabloids. That's what I thought. <laughs> I'm just pulling your leg, Nick. What really happened is the exact opposite. I heard all about it from Dr. Gray. Oh, come on, Nick. I wouldn't take a crazed killer as a client. 
That's too scary, even for me. Me. Yeah, I guess so. Thank you for clearing that up for me, though, chat. Uh, so this is your hometown, huh, Maya? Yep. Karain? Karain Village. But I've heard people call this place Medium Valley, too. Interesting. Seems more like a small valley to me. <laughs> the Great Valley. What's so great about it? Tree stars. So everyone that lives here is a spirit medium? Pretty much. A medium, a large. <laughs> it's probably true since the fey, abil the fey ability to communicate with the dead is so strong. Actually, only the women of this village are mediums. And the fellas are larges, am I right, fellas? There's the joke. <laughs> Later, it's time for Genshin Impact with the boys. <laughs> so what do the men do? They usually work someplace outside the village. Oh, yeah. I wanted to ask you about that girl I saw earlier. Do you know her? Oh, you mean Pearly. Pearly? Pearl Fay. She's my cousin. <laughs> and let's bring Pearl. Isn't she adorable? Just like yours truly. Cousin. Wait, then that means, is she also a, yep, she's a medium too. Pearly's a real genius when it comes to channeling. Hmm, I see. I hope I didn't scare her when I tried to talk to her earlier. Nah, it's not you. My aunt drilled it into her head that if a suspicious looking person tries to talk to you, run away. S suspicious looking? Phoenix Wright, you are a stranger to this little girl. She is to run away. Well, you're not wearing training clothes for starters. Of course not. Pearlie's my aunt's most valued treasure. Red flag. So she's not allowed to go outside of town. She doesn't know much about the world outside of Korean Village. Aunt? Pearlie's mother is my aunt. Duh. Come on, Nick. Well, Nick, I've got to get going. It's about time for the channeling to start. Huh? Oh, yeah. I'm doing the channeling in my house, so come on in, okay? After I'm done, we can grill up some juicy burgers. All right. Uh, good luck, Maya. Thanks. Maya Fay away! Well, at least she's still the same perky Maya. Fay Manor? Bro, we should have been charging her rent. She has her own house. She has a manor. Ah, Mr. Gray. I'm so glad you showed. Some nice weather we're having today, aren't you happy? No, not at all. That stupid weather girl made the wrong call again. It will rain cats and dogs today, she said with a straight face and then a, a gay face. I can't believe they allow such misguided reports on the public airwaves. Looks like talking about the weather with this guy is just asking for punishment. But anyway, this is a splendid manner. No argument there. It's hard to believe that this is Maya's house, though. I was given a guide map to this building. Here, Mr. Wright. I have a copy for you, too. I'm sorry. Maya lives in a, in a house so big we need a map? She owes me rent. Oh, my God. I take it back. I'm sorry, Maya. I don't know if it showed up on camera, but one of my light bulbs flickered because they're about to die. Uh, what are you going to do once the nurse's spirit has been called? Isn't it obvious? I'm going to have her write a signed confession. A signed confession? Yes, a confession. Pay attention. I'll have her write this. One year ago on May 2nd, 14 patients died due to my negligence. And then on May 24th, I fell asleep at the wheel and died in a car accident due to my further negligence. I'm so sorry, and I apologize for being negligent. That's what I'll have her write. He just looks like a villain, right? Like, the way he's, like... <coughs> With a confession, the rain falling on my soul can finally stop. Oh, I see. So, how did you hear about Maya Fey? I heard about her from an acquaintance, a girl studying, studying the occult at the college. That girl introduced me to this village. This is the home of the Karain School of Channeling. The home, huh? And Miss Maya is a daughter of the master, I hear. 
Master? I hardly... Anyway, do you see that door? That's the room where people and spirits meet. Have you seen Spirited Away? It's like that. Miss Maya's aunt is in there right now. Would you care to meet her? Yeah, I'm gonna have a word with this lady. The Winding Way. The Wind Waker. Ooh. I guess I've never really given much of the background art my appreciation. I give it now. Wow, it's such a strange atmosphere in here. These flickering lights, I guess they're candles? Whoa, my God! Hello. Um. Good sir, who might you be? Uh, I'm, uh, my name is Phoenix Wright. Oh, you must be that good sir. Good sir? Is she talking about me? You are a lawyer, are you not, good sir? I have heard much about you from Mystic Maya. Is that so? <laughs> Mystic Maya? <laughs> Maya Mia. I'm Mystic Maya's aunt, Morgan Fay. Morgan! I'm so happy Morgan got a reference in Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney 2. Shout out Morgan Terry. Uh, nice to meet you. Uh, I had wanted to speak with you about a certain incident, good sir. It would seem that perhaps you ask too much of Mystic Maya in performing your duties. Most unbecoming, I'm afraid. Huh? Don't tell me you have already forgotten. That was it not for Mystic Maya and her assistants, you would surely not have won. First a girl that runs away and now an old lady who says I stink at doing my job? When did I become the poster boy for how not to make a first impression? The past is the past, though. Let us speak of the present now. Present? Take that! <laughs> it's just an instinct. Uh, thank you? She looks disgusted by me. So, why do you add Mystic to Maya's name? Isn't that a little... strange? There we go. Maybe I'll stop leaning forward if I just adjust the microphone so it's closer to my body. That, I think, says a little about me. Like, I don't think to move the thing closer to me. I think to move me closer to the thing. I'm a sad man. Like, subscribe, donate to Thinkmas, donate to me, become a member to do both. Watch a video, watch a stream, comment, comment, comment. This music's really relaxing, okay. Why'd you add Mystic to Maya's name? Isn't that a little strange? Good sir. Yes, oh my god. How dare you be so rude and disrespectful towards Mystic Maya. I'm getting bad vibes from this lady. Calling it. She's the murderer. I, I, I'm i sorry. She must be addressed by her proper title, good sir. Look at that, like holy fuck. You must call her Mystic Maya. Uh, so about Mystic Maya, uh, it is the blood. Excuse me? Blood? Mystic Maya carries the blood of the master. In actuality, she's the only one remaining. Only one remaining? What's that supposed to mean? Mystic Maya is the last of the rightful heirs of the Karain channeling technique. Okay. Then where do you st Oh, I think I figured it all out. Where do you stand? That is a little more complicated. Although a woman of the Fey Clan, I am merely a member of the Branch family. Feels like you franchised out the family. It's I'm I'm not a Fey. I'm a I'm a Fey and Go. Um, although a woman of the I'm from the Branch family. Branch family? What's that? You know the Branch family. When you're here, you're a branch. It is as it sounds. For a member of the Branch family, no matter her spiritual power, she could never become the master of the Karain school. So, how strong are you? Like, you want to you fight? It is a shame. However, I will admit, I cannot even begin to compare the loneliness of my power to the master's. So, that's how it is. So, today's channeling will be her first. Yes, good sir. Because the spirit of a person who dies in a traffic accident is usually very strong. 
it is hugely easier to call that person to our world. Traffic accident, indeed. The channeling will take place here, in this channeling chamber, good sir. As you can see, I am in the process of preparing. Channeling chamber, I hardly... So this is the room? Uh, channeling chamber? The place where a spirit medium speaks with those who have departed. Blue, since the day we parted. I don't, su I don't suppose you'd mind if we observed the session? Do not even think of such nonsense. Only the medium and the client may enter here. Uh oh. The secrets of the Karain techniques cannot be seen by just anybody. That never stopped Maya from doing it in front of me before. Oh. Hi, Miss Mia. It is also for your safety, good sir, if something were to go wrong. That is why, while channeling is being performed, that heavy door is securely locked. Oh, that's what the lock is for. <laughs> Maya going, you're stuck in here with me! Oh, yes. I wonder if you have yet to meet Pearl, good sir. Pearl? She is an adorable, angelic young girl. Oh, that odd... She is my daughter. Now then, what was it you were about to say? What a cute daughter you have. Ah ha ha. A pure heart that knows not of the evils in this world is a powerful thing, good sir. Please refrain from affiliating with her, I request. Well, it's not like I had the chance to anyway. I must insist and stress that you not let it occur. Okay, okay, I get it. I feel funny. I feel weird. Chat, can women give you the ick, or is that just a fellow's thing? I think people can give ick. Is, is the ick genderless? I thought it was, like, specific to, like, dudes. Like, everyone can mansplain, technically, but to some people, it's just explaining. The ick is genderless. The ick is genderless. Praise be the ick, knowing no gender. Gender flu ickety. <laughs> Ick is equal opportunity. <laughs> Something happened to that vase, and it's important. Uh, that's Mia's urn. Oh my god. Wow, this garden is really breathtaking. Someone put a lot of love into it. What is that over there? Is that an incinerator? Someone's going to put something important in there. Sure, anyone can be icky, but I meant the the slang, the I, the ick, that. I thought that was just about dudes. That's why I asked, instead of making assumptions. See that? We're learning. Speaking of assumptions, I'm assuming something important gets thrown into that incinerator. It looks a little out of place in a garden like this. Is someone asleep? So this is the side room. Looks like it's more of a break room. There is bedding spread out on the floor. It looks like someone's, yep, sleeping in one. I'm a fucking genius. Praise me, chat. I shouldn't disturb them. What the hell? Oh, is this? Hey, you, hold on now. This gal's got a few questions to ask. I'm sure I've heard that. So oh, no. Never mind. We have to. <laughs> oh, well, well, I'll be. It's Phoenix Wright. How you been? Haven't, haven't seen you in what, a year? Uh, yeah, you're a uh, lot of hair. You're a lot of heart, right? Hey, bingo. I'm the one and only paranormal photographer. A lot of heart. Ah, uh, so I guess... You're still at it, being a photographer, I mean? Of course! And today, I'm gonna get myself a real scoop. You wait and see. Oh, that's right. This ain't no time to be wasting time. The channeling's about to get started. Come on, Yug. <laughs> Is it that time already? Yay, recurring characters. They already have voices. We all should hurry up and get to the meditation room. 
Maya's counting on us. I'm not missing this duel in the Shadow Realm. What are you what are you waiting for? Come on. A lot of heart, huh? I've been judging her harshly because of that case. But I guess looking back, we had some good times too. Like when Bill chose the Joey Wheeler accent and then she said bejesums and crow and I realized I did it wrong. We will now begin the channeling. Mystic Maya, an honored guest, please proceed into the channeling chamber. With this, I can finally sweat all those pesky flies, swat all those pesky flies once and for all. You hear me? <coughs> oh, God. They won't be able to say a single bad thing about me after this. You would love to hear them apologize, wouldn't you, Mr. Wright? Me? Ah, uh, yeah, sure. I would. Mystic Maya, do you have the channeling chamber key? Big ass key. Yep, right here. This is most satisfactory. The key is one of a kind, so please take care of it well. I don't trust this lady. She's laying down too much. Oh, she'll be locked in the room. That's the only key. She's going to totally murder somebody. It'll be fine, Aunt Morgan. I won't lose it. Trust me. Okay, Dr. Gray. Let's get started. Finally, let's go. Let's fucking go. Click. Now, let us wait patiently out here for them. Please, have some lovely bitter green tea and jaw-droppingly large strawberry desserts. Hold on now, Granny. Granny? How come we ain't allowed in that room? Dear Madam, you have an impressive grasp of English. From where did you learn it? What? I'm from the heart of the heartland, Texas. Is that so? Then I humbly request that you return to this heart of the heartland. What? What are you? Now listen here. Only I can talk about the hearts of stuff. You weren't there. This is Corain Village. If you cannot follow our traditions and rules, we request that you leave. Meh. Meh. Sorry. Wow, she shut Lada up. That's impressive. Now then, let us wait. What's a strawberry dessert? Because strawberries are not desserts. That's a fruit. Bang. Hey now, what was that just now? It came from inside the channeling chamber. Bang. Hey, that that's a gunshot. Oh my god. I excuse me. I've heard that I've heard that sound before. It's a gunshot. I'd bet my afro on it. Maya, Maya's in there. I'm breaking in. Well, Mr. Lawyer, what's the plan? What else? We're going to break in. What? But but there's only one key, and that kid's got it. We're going to have to break it down. We're going to have to break the door. Is that all right, Miss Faye? Well, yes, but there is one matter that is... Don't try to stop me. You can send the repair bill to the Wright & Co. Law Offices later. Yeah, now that's what I call being a man, swift as a course in river, playing Genshin with the boys. Who? <laughs> Slam. Slam. I mean, I kind of suspected, but also thank God that voice was hard for me to keep when I'm not pre-learning the script. Uh, Dr. Gray. You took a fucking picture again, didn't you? Uh, oh my God. She was channeling someone. The nurse? Well, sure as shit ain't Mia. I was murdered. M M Maya? That man murdered me. So I killed him. W what? Lada, at a time like this? 
times like this are perfect for snapping up shots. But anyway, what's going on here? This gal, is she... Maya? Step away from there. Please, leave this area to me. Go quickly and inform the police. But, but, hurry, before there are more victims here. Hey, let's go, city boy. Leave this to the granny. As we say in Texas, we're running here. So... I guess that's, I guess that made sense. Maya's like, well, I basically killed her. Is it going to be about proving ghosts are real? Am I a paranormal lawyer now? My cell phone doesn't get reception way out here, so I ended up using the phone booth to call the police. And they're on their way. That's good. Lottie, I saw a genuine mysterious phenomena. She really, she seems really on edge because of all this. Not that I blame her. I'm scared to death by what's going on. Hey, mister. That gal, Maya. She wasn't the one who pulled the trigger, was she? Oh, yeah. Lada doesn't know that when Maya's channeling, her whole physical appearance changes. Then again, weren't there only two of them in there? I reckon she must have done it then. Lada, what do you know about Dr. Gray? Not much, but I did some digging. That's one gent with a bad reputation. You and me, he and me, we have got a big reputation. A big reputation. Really? I hear he's good at surgery and stuff, but his personality stinks like wet sheep. I sort of got the same impression myself. He's real controlling. As soon as his nurse or patients don't do what he says, he starts a hollering. Must have been real rough to work for him. Good talk. Why did we just leave Maya alone? She's getting framed for murder. Huh, Mr. Wright. Miss Faye, how's, um, Mystic Maya? She has returned to this world. The spirit severing technique was successful. Let me see her, please. She is still unconscious. I humbly request that you wait outside for her recovery. Guess I just have to wait. <sighs> the police are here. Sorry to keep you waiting. Huh? You again? What are you doing all the way out here, Detective Gumshoe? It's actually kind of funny. I was in the area for a business trip, pal. Well, time to check out the Creme Sene. I'll have to question everyone here later on. So just sit tight, all right? Why is he grinning at me? Shall I show you to the scene of the crime, Detective Gumshoe? Jim Shoe? <laughs> she did say Jim Shoe, Jesus. Uh, my name isn't Jim Shoe. The two of them went into the channeling chamber and started making out. I guess all I can do for now is see what everyone else has to say. Police are busily running here and there. I don't see Maya anywhere. Hey, you, don't touch anything, eh? Look, I, I really need to ask you some questions. Um, don't look at me like I'm some sort of uncaring jerk. Tell you what, pal. I'll let you make ask a few questions, all right? Um, about Maya? I hate to break this to you, pal, but... With the way things look now, that girl's the only one who could have done it. Yeah, only Maya and the victim were inside this room, after all. But Maya is... You can ask more about her later, pal. Right now, I've got a job to do, and that's collecting evidence. Detective Gumshoe looks like a real professional. And yet, something about his expression still looks the same. So, Dr. Gray was shot with a gun, huh? He was shot in the foray head. But, but, 
but he was also stabbed in the chest with a kniffy. A knife? Basically, the Vic was first stabbed, then he was shot. Vic being short for victim, you see. I don't know his first name. <laughs> Get quiet when you move away. Can I look at stuff, or am I still... Mm. Pretty sure there was someone sleeping here earlier. Like, how can I help you? Okay, nailed it. Uh, I'm a... This is... I, um, like... So isn't it about time to start? Uh, time to start what? You know, like, the channeling? Channeling? Uh-oh, uh no, actually, the situation has kind of changed. Huh? Like... What do you mean? Please stay calm, but there has been a murder. Um, so like, a murder is that thing where like, one person ki kills another, right? Yes, a person has killed another person. Oh, that's, uh, what are the words I'm looking for? It's like, like, totally a bummer. Yeah. After all that effort, that's all she had to say? Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot to, like, introduce myself. My name is... Uh, eeny, my, eeny, 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 meeny? Yeah. Eeny, miny? Eeny, miny. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Yeah, eeny. My name is Eeny, miny. That's gonna hurt my brain. Um, at the college, I'm researching and studying parapsychology. Parapsychology? That's right. Um, I think people, like, usually call it, uh, occult studies or something. Like, supernatural phenomenon, ESP and psychic powers, that sort of stuff. Fucking witch girls, let's go. Can we get a fucking W in chat for the witch girls? I'm Phoenix Wright, attorney at law. So, what brings you here today? Um, like, so, I was the one who told Dr. Gray about this place. He asked me, like, do you know of a good spirit medium? And I was like, haha, more like a spirit large. Okay, anyway. <laughs> um, Dr. Gray did say something about being introduced to this place. Cause, like, talking to dead people and, like, multiple personalities are my thing. I see, then why were you taking a nap here? Like, I wasn't feeling good. Meh. Huh? I'm, like, allergic to sesame seeds. They, like, must have put some in the food they served for lunch. I feel like that would require an EpiPen, right? Are seed allergies mild? I guess everything can range. Oh, that doesn't sound fun. So I, like, felt sick and came in here to, like, sleep. Meh. I totally feel like I've wasted my time because I, like, slept a long time. You were sleeping here the entire time? Yeah, ever since lunch. So you don't know anything about the murder that took place? Like, what? Oh, that. I, like, totally know nothing. So who was, like, you know, like, killed? The surgeon that requested the channeling, Dr. Gray. You and Dr. Gray knew each other, right? Oh my god. I don't know any Dr. Gray. Oh, really? Then what was all that talk about him earlier? Huh? Well, uh, like, a long, long time ago, like, in a universe very far from here, I was, like, a patient, yeah. She sounds like she's trying to hide something. Oh, I can't take that. Okay. Uh oh, present? There we go. I'm, like, totally bad at remembering people's names. Oh? But I, like, remember seeing that face somewhere before, like, I think. Well, thanks for trying. I didn't think it was possible for someone to be this much of an airhead. It's out of control. Eight. Eight. 
Nah, I guess it wouldn't really... Presenting profiles is going to be something I'm going to have to remember, because I will forget it. I guess we got to find the little girl at some point. There's no one here, as usual. <gasps> there she is! I'm a fucking genius. Ah, hey, how are you? You're Pearl, right? Hmm. Silent as a hill. Huh? What's that she's got in her hand? I've seen it somewhere before. Um. Ah. God damn it. What is it? Is it my hair? Is it too spiky? Not spiky enough? She's not right in here. Um, ah, oh, fuck. What is it? God damn it. Yeah, it won't let me... I'm sure I could click on shit, but it won't let me examine anything. Yeah. No touching without my permission. I'm just looking at it. I can't be too careful if a kid like her can be a murder suspect. Now, can I? I guess if I want to search this room, I'm going to have to come back later. She's probably scared out of her wits after having a... Lotta? Yeah, don't let me be next! Eh? Don't scare me like that. What do you mean? You're the one scaring me! If I weren't so tough, you'd have another dead body on your hands. Mine! Did you see or notice anything that stuck out to you? Nah. Well, maybe one thing. What is it? Turns out my poor stomach's not good at handling this kind of thing. Huh? What? Curses and ghosts and stuff coming back to get you? This is just too much, I say. What is too much? Being an occult photographer. That's some scary stuff, so I think I'm going to try being a celebrity photographer now. I'd rather invade a real person's life than seek out ghosts. Going after photos more within your reach from now on? More glamour, less gore? What's up? Oh, yeah! W what is it? I took some hot pictures earlier. Huh? Remember? I took some pictures at the murder scene in I, at the murder scene inside. She did, too, even. The seance murder. I like the ring of that. It'll be a sensational story. Lotta. Sorry, but my journalistic sense is burning inside me. Hate to cut and run, but I'm heading back in. Gotta beat those cops to the scoop of the century. Wah. Oh, ha. I'm running you. I don't know who's scarier. A lot of ghosts are always scarier. Why does it feel like we've been through this before? Yeah, I guess I'm not technically on the case yet, so this is a little confusing. Oh, dear madam. You have such impeccable timing. Like, what's on the buzz? Ahem, all right, everyone. Listen up, you too, pal. I'm going to give you all a brief update. Right now, it looks like the investigation's not going to be done until real late. That is a terrible shame. I propose that everyone sleep here under the roof of the Fay Manor tonight. What are you talking? This place is haunted as fuck, and someone just died in the other room. What a mess. I can't believe how crazy this day turned out. Maya was arrested and then taken away by the police. I don't see myself getting any sleep tonight. Six twenty, blaze it. Ugh, warning. 
guess I must have known it was not an office. Oh, my. Oh, my is okay. I should hurry and get to the detention center ASAP. Oh, wow, that was pretty ASAP-y. This poor kid. Uh, uh, Nick? I... Maya. What am I going to do? I never imagined it would turn out like this. How did it end up like this? It was only a kill. It was only a kill. Calm down, Maya. Take deep breaths. Come to think of it, the first time I met her, it all started right here in this detention center. I finally... I finally get to see you again, and it's not your fault. You you didn't do it. No, I I did it. I I killed that person. But that wasn't you. It doesn't matter. It might as well have been me. I was too weak, and I I couldn't control the spirit's power. I don't want to bring up the case quite yet, but you don't have to be nice to me. I understand. Oh my butt. Oh, my poor bottom. Why is my bottom not good for sitting? That's all it does. Is sit and shake. Am I right? Am I right, gamers? We sit in games so we can shake our booties later. There we go. Just wanted it to move. <sighs> the music's so sad. So you're the... So you're the master or something of the Korean school of channeling? Actually, my mother is for now. But since that title is passed from mother to daughter, I some I guess I will be someday. <clears throat> but many people think that channeling isn't real, that it's all just an act. You believe in us, don't you? Yeah, because I've seen it with my own eyes. Both of them. Mm, miss Mia. When Maya's channeling his spirit, not only her voice, but her whole physical appearance changes. It's a supernatural phenomenon that occurs every time. Yeah, that's 100% not Mia. It happened this time, too. God, that's so scary. They couldn't resist a little bit of cleavage, but that's so much scarier than the first game. First game, it's like, oh my god, it's Mia's boobs. So this time, it's like, oh my god, what happened? <laughs> Maya, please, come back. Dr. Gray said that he wanted to call the to call the nurse, so... Maya's body must have taken on that nurse's appearance. This is just Silent Hill. What exactly happened to the channeling chamber? Wow. What exactly happened to the channeling chamber? I went into that room with Dr. G with Dr. Gray, locked the door, and sat down across from him. Okay. We closed our eyes. Another year had come and gone. And I began the channeling. This is sounding kind of creepy, like the beginning of a scary story. And that's the last thing I remember. What? After spirit comes into my body, I lose myself, my consciousness. Then you don't remember a single thing? Ugh. When I came to, I was being held in my aunt's arms. And there was blood all over my clothes. Uh, oh, but I do remember having a dream. A dream? Yeah, I was rolling around at the speed of sound. I had places to go, and I followed my rainbow. What kind of dream did you have while you were channeling? I try to keep it light. I don't want this to, like, upset me too much. Um, I can't remember it all that well, but I was... Oh, my God. Yeah, fucking... I was dead and buried in the ground. I couldn't move, and it was unbearable. Really suffocating. It went something like that. I see. I have no idea what to say to that. There was a really familiar smell, too. Under the ground? Yeah, I can't quite place it, but I know I've smelled that same scent before. I guess this is about all the information I'm going to gather for today. I'll be back later, later, Maya. In the meantime, please make sure you prepare it, okay? Huh? It? What is it? The document requesting me to be your attorney, of course. But... 
What's wrong? Are you sure? I mean, I'm guilty. I'm a murderer. No one's decided that yet. Oh my god, is this gonna be what breaks? That's gotta be a plot line at some point, right? At some point, someone I'm representing is guilty. That'd be crazy if it's Maya. But I did. I killed that person with these two hands. That's enough, Maya. It's hopeless. If you defend me, you'll lose, I'm sure. Stop it. Objection. Help me. Oh, kiddo. Nick, help me. I'm scared. Don't worry. I will. When's the trial? It sounds like tomorrow. As usual, zero prep time. All right. I'm going now. Wait. This jewel. This is called a... Magatama? I'm sorry. Magat... Mag... Mag... Magat... Magat... Magatama. Give this to Pearly, and I'm sure she'll lend you her spiritual powers. It's small, but it has a deep, profound aura about it. And on the back, it has a price tag that says $9.99. Hot Topic Sale. Alright, time to take the two-hour train back. I have to save Maya, no matter what. It's her life on the line. What in the world happened to that room yesterday? Well, already it's weird that he got shot. So, maybe he brought the gun? They both reached for the gun, the gun, the gun? The meditation room nurtures all mediums, young and old. Even mediums in training, I'd wager. It's pretty deserted today. Probably because of the murder yesterday. Just gonna stand here casually talking about death to myself. 620 blaze it. It looks like Detective Gumshoe is in here today. I should take this chance and thoroughly check this room. If I'm lucky, I might uncover a clue or two. Ah! Oh, Mr. Wright. Good morning. I'm on my way to go meet Mystic Maya. And I thought to bring her some items to make her feel more at home. Why didn't you do that last time she was arrested under suspicion of murder? Namely, tea so bitter you lose your tongue in jaw-droppingly large strawberry desserts. I'm sure Maya will be very grateful. That's Mystic Maya, good sir. Ugh, she's one scary-ass lady. Oh dear, sweet Mystic Maya. Pearl wept constantly for you last night, as did I. I know it's important for me to search the site. I should ask her some questions, too, while I have the chance. I'd like to ask you a few questions about what happened yesterday. Do you mean that awful tragedy? That man murdered me. So I killed him. M Maya? Step away from there. Please, leave this area to me. Go quickly and inform the police. Yes, it is canon that her voice broke there. I made a choice. It's not me being fatigued. What happened here in this room after I left? Well, first, I struck Mystic Maya on the head to make her go unconscious. To make her go unconscious, correct? No, for fun. That is correct. Next, I performed the spirit severing technique. Spirit severing technique? The spirit of that nurse was inside of Mystic Maya's body. I used the technique to send the nurse's spirit back to the other world. I wonder if this kind of testimony is even admissible in a court of law. Uh, by the way, what is this room exactly? The channeling chamber? This room was created for the sole purpose of preventing such a tragedy as yesterday. What do you mean? Sometimes when an inexperienced medium calls an especially strong spirit, that spirit may become violent and revolt as you witnessed yesterday. Revolt? But how? When a spirit enters a medium's body, she loses her will and herself steps, and herself steps aside. To put it another way, 
The spirit is borrowing the medium's body, good sir. But isn't that extremely dangerous? An experienced medium has little problem controlling a spirit. But Maya, I mean, Mystic Maya, that was her first channeling. And that was why I insisted on locking the door. However, I never thought that would be calling danger upon the client himself. Why weren't you in there with her? Miss Mentor, I am grateful that one of our heirlooms was not none of our one of our heirlooms was not damaged in this horrible incident and that would be that folding screen there if the Korean sacred it's the create it is the Korean sacred writings along with the Korean sacred urn they are this village's most treasured possessions if I ever found out that something had happened to either one oh the humanity Odd for her to be worrying about the folding screen at a time like this. I guess this isn't just some dilapidated old screen after all. So, how is Pearl today? Mr. Wright? Yes. In this world, Pearl is my most treasured possession. I'm more of a garnet, Stan. Thank you, good night. And this world, Pearl's my most treasured possession. When compared to even Mystic Maya, Pearl has the spiritual power to become a master. That that's very impressive. Until now, the women of the branch the branch family have thought have thought <sighs> sorry. Until now the women of the branch family have thought themselves to be inferior. But Pearl is different. Her spiritual strength is so great, it's even greater than some of the main family. Yes, Pearl is a channeling prodigy. It is the pride of this branch family. Wow, she's really fired up now. In any case, our world is so different from yours. Perhaps it is best for you to quit, good sir. Quit? I'm too legit. Quit what? It's a beautiful and expensive folding screen. It also looks quite old. There seems to be some sort of sacred text written on it, but I can't read it. The ding This is... It's a hole. Could this have been made by a bullet? Hold on there, bub. I'll answer the questions about holes. Thank you. Well then, I do believe it is time for me to take my leave. Alright, please tell Maya I said hi. What was that? Uh, Mystic Maya... I will tell her. If I hadn't seen Maya turn into Mia with my very eyes, I'd be like, this shit's fake as fuck. You're being sus as hell. Sigh. So there's a bullet hole down here? There's some empty space behind the folding screen. The light of the candles can't reach back here, so it's completely dark. I hope no one is hiding back there. I guess this is an altar. Whatever it is, it feels very important. A mirror-like object with a cloudy reflective surface. And some branches of a sacred tree have been set in a predetermined arrangement. I guess they, they're they used during the channeling. And here's where I spilt my cranberry juice. This is where the medium sits, I assume. There are four panels of this flooring. The straw in the flooring feels a little damp, probably from the humidity in the air. No matter what I do, my eyes keep getting drawn to the pool of blood in the center here. The meditation room is on the other side of this very heavy looking door. The lock on it is broken because, well, I broke it. It doesn't seem possible, but I managed to break it pretty badly. When we want to do something bad enough, people can do the most amazing things. He summoned the, the the generational strength of parents slash guardians to save, to go and protect the child. Yeah. No, this is the same thing, but the, the check mark wasn't there. Whatever. Okay. I think we nailed this. The door that leads to the channeling chamber, the place where spirits and people meet, the iron... And the iron in this door was tempered, making it very solid. It looks like there's a strong lock on this door to top it off.
little Pearl isn't here today. Maybe she's at school? Kids still go to school? It's a small incinerator. I don't think garbage trucks come all the way out here to tiny villages like this. Every family has to burn their own trash. That can't be good for the planet. A splendid garden with a small lamp and traditional decorations. It's a bit small to walk around in. Although that incinerator piques my... I checked it already! How dare you, sir? It's a really old urn. The ashes of a person long dead are... I don't think so, bud. Look at those cracks. It looks like something with a long history. Other than that, it's not very interesting. Okay. She literally said this urn is the only other important thing, and it's broken. Looks like there's a room. Oh, right. I've made that mistake so many times. Oh, hey. Like, you're that guy from yesterday. The, uh, Dennis guy. No, I'm a lawyer. That's right. Um, Sm Mr. Smith Esquire. That's right. Wait, no. I mean, you're wrong. My name is right. Smith. Right. Well, I got, like, three letters at least. I don't think she gets the point. Anyway, why are you here? So, like, I studied this thing called parapsychology at this college, and yeah, you, you told me that yesterday. The sesame allergy, too. What I'd really like to know is why you're still here today? Oh, so, like, that's what you meant. Like, you should have been more, like, clear about it. Sorry. Uh, m my bad? Sorry, bestie. I can be such a Rizzler sometimes. No, it's okay. Like, it really... Eh? That's it? Why'd you stop mid-sentence? Did I? So, like, what was I talking about again? If Lot ever want another genuine, mysterious phenomenon, it's right here. Ship. Stan. So, why are you still here today? Like, there's so much for me to, like, study here. Like what? Like, the medium's training, or, like, how they inherit their spiritual power. I suppose this village is the real thing, after all. So, like, I asked if I could stay here for, like, <clears throat> for, like, a little, for, like, a little longer. Like, it, <laughs> something was in her throat. It's her allergies. Uh, for a little longer. She sure seems like the carefree type, at least on the surface. Have you heard about the murder? It's like totally scary. She says with a silly smile plaster on her face. So do you know anything about, do you know anything about it that might help? So I don't think she has a grasp on reality, let alone what's going on here. Uh, about the victim, Dr. Gray, I don't know who you're talking about. Like, wait, I think you asked about him, like, yesterday, too. That's right. Her reaction when I asked was... Peaked. You and Dr. Gray must know each other, right? Right? I don't know any Dr. Green. 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 Oh, really? Really? What about all that talk about him earlier? Earlier. Earlier. Huh? Well, uh... Uh... Uh, like, a long, long time ago, I was, like, a patient. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, she's definitely hiding something from me. Like, is something wrong? Like, I'm really sorry, and I know, like, you totally had your heart set on it, but I can't, like, take it. Who said anything about giving this to you? Look at the fish with the little bear. They're kissing. They're kissing. It's a decorative wooden bear sculpture. There's a plate attached to the base. The heart, the Korean village, the heart of channeling. What? It's a souvenir. Is it cute? I like totally bought that. Ah, it's yours, huh? Yeah. So like, this village is really famous for like channeling and bears. Huh. <laughs> Wait, famous for bears? Yeah, what do you think all the boys are doing when all the girls are the mediums? They run a bear bar. 
But it's like, okay. If you ever like see a bear, you just play dead and they like leave you alone. Yeah, I'm sure all the bears leave you alone. Is that, is that right? Yeah, cause like fighting back is totally of no use. Yeah, they're not interested in you. And she actually tried to fight one. <laughs> Keeping that bit going. <laughs> she, she's scared of there being like actual bears here. And all these like big hairy guys are like, whatever you need, sweetie. And just like, you doing all right? You have enough water? And she's like standing still and like she's on her back, like showing her, exposing her dummy. Where did this box come from? I'm sure this wasn't here last night. Looks like a box for storing clothes, but it's pretty big for just clothes. Mostly empty, but a few folded pieces of channeling costumes sit at the bottom. You left the blanket a mess. You gonna fold it? Like, I had a really good nap, and like, I was thinking of leaving it like this so like, it's all set for tonight. Yeah, me. I don't see a point of making my bed. Like, I make sure it's nice when I, like, wash the sheets and stuff, but I don't understand making your bed. That is my nest. What business is it of yours what my nest is like? <laughs> Pearl. Ah! Oh, you surprised me. And how are you today? How do you do, fellow kids? I guess she's an open of friendly chatting. She's still holding something in her hand. It looks like the same thing she had yesterday. Take that! Oh yeah, Maya said to give this to you. Oh, kiddo, no! <laughs> I'm in trouble now. If Morgan sees us like this, I'll be the next, I'll be the next one they're channeling. That, that, that's Mystic Maya's! Huh? She actually spoke. Who, who are you? I'm Phoenix Wright. I, uh, I worked with Maya. You, you worked with Mystic Maya? You, you are Mr. Nick, right? Uh, excuse me? I bet I know how she, who she picked Nick up from. I know who you are. You're, you're Mystic Maya's sp- No, boo. Cancel her, chat. Cancel her for shipping Phoenix and Maya together. Attack this imaginary eight-year-old now. <laughs> You're Mystic Maya's special someone. Whoa, 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 what? So then, of course, you're gonna help Mystic Maya, aren't you? That's what you're gonna do, right? Well, yeah, I will. Oh, wow, it's like a beautiful fairy tale. It's gonna be like Full Metal Alchemist in a second, kid. Stop shipping me with Maya. Let's fucking go. That, that earnest look shining brightly in your eyes. It must be true love. What? Why am I being boiled? Why am I being boiled into a bright red lobster by this little kid? I'm so jealous of Mystic Maya. Uh, what a wonderful relationship. Don't you dare. Wait, I, uh, I mean, we are, things aren't like, hee hee hee, I can tell you're a good person. All right, Mr. Nick. I may be small, but I'm gonna help you in any way I can. Give me the murder evidence in your hand and stop shipping me with your cousin. She's like half my age. Pearl, are you friends with Maya? I feel very grateful to be friends with her. She's so great. I want to be like Mystic Maya when I grow up. I really look up to her. Wow, I had no idea Maya was so revered. Usually when people don't use Mystic Maya's title, I get mad. Uh oh, uh, sorry. But if it's you, Mr. Nick, then it's okay. Because, because... You're special to her. Stop it. <laughs> Edgeworth is like coming up the hill with a picnic to like help with the investigation. He goes, what the fuck? And he just goes home. Where in the world should get an idea like that? By the way, this may be rude, but which channeling school are you from? Which channeling school? Yes. 
For example, I study the the Korean technique. Ah, I get it. No, 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 no. I'm a lawyer. A lawyer. A lawyer. Yep. Is that related to spirit mediums in any way? It is in this country. Um, not, what do you mean none that you know of? Ev do our adventures mean nothing to you? Is it meta? Am I the Edgeworth? It's me? You fucking spiky-haired fuckface. Wait, are you telling me you don't know what a lawyer is? I'm sorry, but I have no idea. I'm only allowed to watch, watch Breaking Bad, but not Better Call Saul. That is... Sh <laughs> the aunt's homophobic confirmed because she won't let Pearl watch Be Better Call Saul, but is okay with Breaking Bad. I'm sorry, but I have no idea. Maya did say Pearl doesn't know much about the, uh, the outside world. Where the people are. <clears throat> So what's, uh, what's that you've got there, Pearl? Oh, this? I found it yesterday. Huh. If you want it, I can give it to you. Yes, please. All right, well, if you really want to give it to me. He, <laughs> you look like a child at a toy store, Mr. Nick. She, she not only speaks in a refined manner, but laughs in one, too. Um, Mr. Nick? Yes, Pearls? I can call you that, right? You're too cute to just call you Pearl. Sure, Mr. Nick. Uh, are you sure it's okay for me to have this mag 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 magatama? Chat, does anyone know how to say that word? I want to learn. Yeah, it's okay. I, I was told to give it to you. But I can't accept something like this. All I really should do is charge this magatama with spiritual energy. Spiritual energy? I'm a Konamanamana too. Oh my god, it's fucking glowing. Uh, there's, there's, no co co uh, there's no coinciding between a lawyer and a fucking spirit medium. Fucking Phoenix wrong. Please take this. I'm sure it will be helpful. It's dangerous to go alone. What do you mean? It will let you see people's secrets. Wait, what? Oh my god, do I have superpowers? It's MAGA like autom like automatic. Ma MAGA. Magatama? See people's secrets? Yeah. If it's alright with you, I'd like to accompany you for a little while. I can explain the Magatama's power to you when we meet someone hiding a secret. Oh, we should go talk to the lady. Now I got my magic little lie detector. Hey, it's you, pal. So you're going to be her lawyer, I bet. Yeah. Oh. I really feel bad for you, pal. Justice Anse, I wish I could be on your C-Day. Detective Gumshoe. Yeah, but I shouldn't be saying that kind of stuff to you. Hey, you're a cute kid. You talk funny. <laughs> I hate your voice. It doesn't match the character specifically the way I envision it. <laughs> I'm not scary, honest. Wow, I never knew Gumshoe liked kids. Hey, I know. I'll show you something cool. Oh my god, Gumshoe no. Gumshoe canceled. Hashtag dick Gumshoe over party. How's this? It's a real... It's a real genuine pistol. Detective Gumshoe, what are you doing showing her something that dangerous? Oh, sorry. Detective Gumshoe is over party. What about Maya and the charges against her? I don't think you can win, pal. If you're take if you're talking about proof, we've got a few pieces. You've got proof? Yeah, pal. That puffy-haired photographer, photographer, I, this voice, man. That puffy-haired photographer is going to testify tomorrow. And he must be talking about Lada. Actually, speaking of Lada. 
I took some hot pictures earlier. Huh? Remember? I took some pictures at the murder scene inside. 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 Bought us hot pictures. I wonder what our camera captured. Besides, you must have realized by now, pal. There's no way anyone other than Mayafe could have done it. What am I supposed to say to Pearls now? Uh, about Dr. Gray. The victim wasn't super famous, but people still knew who he was. His fosse was all over those tabloid shows last year. Yeah, I know. I was looking through some newspapers from last year and... Huh? I could have sworn I had cut an RT clay out, but I guess I must have lost it. He's searching through his pockets and... Boy, are those big. Uh, uh it, it looked really interesting, too. Hey, do you have a copy, pal? A copy of that article? I think... I think Dr. Gray might have brought a copy to the office when he came by. Thanks, Gumshoe. About my trial tomorrow. I've got two pieces of news for you, pal. Two? Yeah, bad news and even worse news. So which do you want to hear first? What? What did you do? I don't really care. It doesn't change the fact that I'm not going to like it. All right, pal. Well, the prosecutor for the trial is Prosecutor Von Karma. What? <laughs> Von Karma? He's not going to front face me, is he? No, he's in jail. Manfred Von Karma. He was an awe-inspiring veteran prosecutor. He never lost a case in the 40 years of his career, and he raised a fearsome disciple. The horrible aftertaste of the evil he force-fed me is something I'll never forget. Wait a sec. Didn't Von Karma stand trial at... Why are you talking like it wasn't us, homie? Ugh. Educate yourself. Did, did our experiences in the first game mean nothing to you, you silly anime man? Did everyone get amnesia? He still has amnesia. Um, that's where the other piece say a bad news comes in. The Von Karma you're facing tomorrow is actually his successor. <laughs> successor? I hardly. So, um, who is this successor to Von Karma? Literally, pal, it's Prosecutor Von Karma's kid. Oh... Is that the, um, interesting new addition to the team? <laughs> His kid became a prosecutor. His kid became a prosecutor real young, like 1-3, and hasn't lost a trio since they. That's what they call a protege, pal. Uh, kid, huh? Wait, wait, what? 13? The kid became a prosecutor at the age of 13? I mean... A prodigy like that. I, 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 I would have heard something about... Oh, no, no, no. The kid was born and raised in Germany, pal. That country's got a lot of stuff. And is a great place to develop a person's talents. Germany, huh? It's probably why I've never heard of this person. Ugh, still. All it takes is someone mentioning the name Von Karma. And I get terrible flashbacks to that case. Miles. Is that the first time we're seeing Edgeworth? It's been three hours. Stop it. Get a grip on your... No, think about him. Why aren't you allowed to think about him? None of that matters anymore. Now that he's gone. What? Where is he? Stop fucking laughing. Where's my... Where's my boyfriend? None of that matters. 
now that he's gone. I just pretended to check this room. Hello again. Uh, we seem to be... I'm That really pissed me off. We seem to be seeing a lot of each other today. Aw, uh, she's like totally cute. Is she like your daughter? What? No. How old do you think I am? Don't answer that. I want to ask you about the victim, Dr. Gray. I, I totally don't know him. <clears throat> what the fuck? What is that? Oh, I think I saw this in one of the trailers for the HD collection. I thought that was Apollo Justice that gets the locks. I've seen that visual before. Because it looks like it looks like a Pokedex mixed with, like, a, a jewelry box. Da ding You can see it, can't you, Mr. Nick? You can see the lock on that person's hut. Huh? What? This is the power of the Magatama. Only you can see these psych locks. Miss... Well, excuse me, Mr. Nick. Psyche locks, huh? The more someone wants to hide their secret... The more someone wants to hide their secret, the more locks you will see. If it's only one, I think you can easily unlock it. Unlock? But how? Please use Mystic Maya's Magatama on this person. And let's remove the lock. I have no idea what she's talking about, but I guess I'll give it a try. You must be careful, though, Mr. Nick. If you make a mistake, it will hurt you. If you don't think you have the proof you need, you must have the courage to stop. Well, I've got to start somewhere. Let's give this psyche lock thing a, a try. Uh, what? Uh, you might have to, make a to do the lock? Yeah. Okay, let's do that then. Thank you. Save me a little time. I was kind of right, though, because I was like, oh, if we can detect lies, let's go talk to the lady again. Also, oh, Gumshoe doesn't lie to us. <laughs> it's never been the same ever since he left. Whew, feels like I've been gone forever, but it's only been one day. Oh, that's right. Oh, where's that newspaper Dr. Gray brought the other day? Found it. Ah, here it is, right on top of my desk. This is the only thing he left behind that's going to be of any help. Newspaper clipping one out of the court record. So how does this help? Can I not examine things anymore? Did we devolve? All right, anyway, time to take the two-hour train ride back. Oh, let's go talk to Maya. I must be in another round of questioning. I hope the detectives are taking it easy on her, but these kinds of cases aren't usually taken lightly either. I guess I'll come back later. Hmm. Do I take a few steps forward or a two hour train ride back to the office? Hmm. I know they added that detail, so it would make sense why you go back and forth, but like two hours on train. Fuck that. Okay, so now I talk again about the, the locked thing, or do I present the thingy? I'm going to ask you again. <clears throat> I'm going to ask you again. Did you know Dr. Gray? I totally don't know that guy. Like, you're totally more persistent than a roach. This girl's hiding something, I'm sure of it. I guess I have no choice but to remove this lock. All right. So first I have to use Maya's Magatama. Okay, so I have to... Take that. 
Okay, cool. The victim. Well, I guess that's one way to kind of get some of the courtroom gameplay in here. Yeah. That's in I I think they went in the right direction with the extra episode where it was like, check for fingerprints. Examine evidence. I think that was a smarter route to go than psychic locks, but okay, let's go. Eeny meeny. I believe you do know who Dr. Gray is. I told you, like, how many times do I, like, have to repeat myself? If you're, like, so totally sure, then where's, like, your proof? While it may be possible that you never actually met Dr. Gray in person, I do believe you might at least indirectly know of him. Like, what do you mean, like, indirectly? I probably, I should probably try to show that the possibility existed for now. So something shows a possible connection. I'm assuming it's the thing that you made me go get. I wish I could examine it. Okay, take that. Here's your proof. Like, what is that? Ooh, I guess I... Oh, well, the, why the fuck did you make me go get it? Pearls did warn me. If you make a mistake, it will hurt you, she said. While it may be possible you never actually met it, I do believe you indirectly know him. Yeah, I don't have anything that would connect the two of them, then. No, I have clipping number one. Uh, oh, okay. I guess you gotta show it to Gumby. Uh, thank you. Yep. No, wrong room. Oh, if only someone had given me a map. Oh, because he wanted the newspaper clippings. He was like, oh, gee, I lost it. Um... Dr. Gray brought this over to my office the other day, and... Hey, it's the news story. The one about the malpractice suit. 14, pa uh, 14 patients died, and it caused a huge stink. Really, Phoenix? Maybe that's why I thought it was a gumshoe line. Everyone was like, ugh, 14 people. Stink, stink, stink. Yeah, but that's not all, pal. Things also got worse after that. You mean the car accident the nurse died in? Um, oh, here we go. I brought my own clipping with me today. Here, pal, this is for you. All right, thanks. Newspaper clipping, too. Meany, meany, nurse. Yep, okay. There's the connection. Thank you. Thanks. All right, time to go fucking make someone relive their trauma so I can save my friend. Take that! I believe you do know who Dr. Gray is. If not directly, indirectly. Indirectly knew him because you read this newspaper clipping! Take a look at this newspaper clipping. Every time I do, it makes me laugh. Like, what is that? A story about an accident? Uh, please read the victim's name. Um, Mimi Mini. Mini is a pretty rare last name, wouldn't you say? Miss Mimi Mini. Really, really wouldn't have happened. Wouldn't happen to be a relative of yours, would she? Da ting. So you noticed she. She was my older sister. I'm sorry about your loss. Your sister, was she a nurse, perhaps? Is she? Is your sister the hot nurse we keep seeing with, during the flashbacks to the malpractice incident? Your sister, was she a nurse, perhaps at Dr. Gray's surgical clinic? Gray's surgical clinic. I don't think I need to tell you the clinic was run by the victim, Dr. Turner Gray. 
which is how you know of Dr. Gray. You knew him through your sister. I feel like we're just unlocking her, like, the barriers around her trauma that she's repressing, which I hope would be good for her, but I just feel bad. Hey, remember your dead sister? Anyway, answer my question now. Please tell me all you know about Dr. Gray. Whoa, hey. It's a, it's a strong wing that can kill a man for a, for a, 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 a nurse at a, at a clinic that size. But good for you. My, my sister's name was Mimi Mimi. She was like a nurse at Dr. Gray's clinic. That's what I thought. I heard that like Dr. Gray was really tough on people. Like a, hmm. my sis was like always coming home, totally wiped out cause she was overworked. Wiped out. So is that why she fell asleep at the wheel? That guy, like, drove my sis so hard, like, so that's why the accident happened. The one where 14 patients died from malpractice. Yeah, like, I think that was the doctor's fault, too. Yeah, I bet that was her. My sis was pushed by, like, everyone's expectations and, like, her duties and stuff. And that pushed her to her death. Oh, I'm sorry. So, like, are we done? I, like, already told you my story. So, like, everyone... Do you understand now, Mr. Nick? This is how a psyche lock works. Well, I don't plan to pry into people's hearts unless, like... Unless I absolutely need to. If we can get Edgeworth back in this game. The lock this time was pretty easy, but... You might meet people who aren't as willing to give in later on. If you don't have enough proof, be careful and know when to stop trying. Are kids these days really teaching us? <laughs> they're the ones teaching us to give up? Hey, don't chase all your dreams too aggressively. Have a backup plan. Uh, this is funny. Know when to give up, says the eight-year-old. <laughs> Fuck, that did make me feel bad, though. I feel like that didn't get me any new information. It just upset that lady and taught me how to use the lock mechanism. And I will forget it by the time I use it again. Mr. Nick, uh, what's wrong? I, I've never left Karain Village. Really? Wow, that's, uh, that's pretty amazing. You're going to meet with Mystic Maya, aren't you? Please tell her I said hi. Hey, wait. Uh, she ran off again. Well, I know we need secret now, but I still don't have any idea how I'm going to save Maya. I don't even know if I should go in there with a smile or a straight face or maybe a gay face. Bye. It's fucking annoying. I hate that joke and it lives in my brain. Away with us. All right. Put on your ace face. Be brave. What am... Ace face is my animated uh, teen coming of age. Uh, Non-linear until it becomes linear. Uh, comedy adventure series. Uh, what am I supposed to do? I'm almost out of time. Can I really do anything? Can I really save her? Sorry to keep you waiting. Huh? Must be Maya. It's been a long time, hasn't it, Phoenix? That voice. <laughs> Mia Faye, everybody. Mia Faye. Mia Faye. Let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. All rise. All rise. Everybody, everybody stand. Everybody stand. Mia Faye. Mia Faye, everybody.
Ugh. Mia, even without me being here, it looks like you've learned to stand on your own. Huh? Once we're all done applauding in chat, can we get some Fs in the chat for Mia? Mia. She's Maya's older sister. Oh my god, that blurred hard. She's Maya's older sister and my mentor. She was even... She slayed when she was slayed. She fucking was in the perfect suggestive poses right up until the end. What was it? Someone said something like that. Like, when, when we first experienced this, it was like she served up until the end. <sighs> Fly high, queen. Icon. Oh, wait. We can finally ask her what was the deal with her and... um. Lana Sky. Oh, yeah. She was a top notch defense lawyer, but a certain case forced her into retirement. But whenever I'm in trouble, she comes to help, just like this. Her spirit comes back from the other world and borrows Maya's body for a bit. <clears throat> I was reading the articles. Phoenix, you can't make that kind of face in front of your client. Well, I, I, I'm sorry for looking. Oh, right. I need to be positive. You're right. A lawyer is someone who smiles no matter how bad it gets, and especially when it's bad. Mia, you can't smile at the end if you haven't been smiling the whole way there. In any case, the face you're making now is no face to show a client, Phoenix. B but, so, tell me all about it. I'm going to guess that my sister's in a lot of trouble again. Miss them. <laughs> Would it be gross to make that like a donation goal reward the opacity on the text box? I forgot all about that. Would that be gross? Uh, I don't know. I don't know either. Like, subscribe, donate to Thank Miss, donate to me, become a member, and do both. I told her everything about what had happened in the last two days. Mia closed her eyes deep in thought while she listened. <clears throat> I see. <laughs> what? Someone, uh, someone said, I trust you with that power. Don't, don't, don't underestimate my character, or overestimate my character. Ugh, Mia, what am I supposed to do? It's pretty clear what a good lawyer does in this situation. And that, that, tell me, please! Believe in your convictions. And fight for the complete acquittal of your client. The music's nice. Don't look at me. Not guilty. You think Maya's not guilty? How can you be so sure? I know she is, and I'll give you a hint as to why. A hint? Your sister is in jail for murder. Yes, mediums can't have dreams. They can't? From what you told me, it sounds like Maya was having a dream while channeling. Yeah, she said she dreamt that she had died and had been buried in the ground. But that is impossible. You've heard it from her, I'm sure. When a medium channels, her own spirit disappears. Which means that it's impossible for her to dream during that time. Then, what, what does that mean? I think it's safe to bet that Maya was set up. A setup? It's up to you to blow the lid on this case tomorrow. To blow the lid. Blow the lid off this case tomorrow? Blow the lid on this case. I know what she meant, but I'm picturing like blow the lid on. Like, whew. oh, it's on now. Good thing I moved it with my breath. 
It's up to you to blow the lid on this case tomorrow and show how she was set up. It's been a long time since we've seen Edgeworth, sorry. How am I supposed to prove her innocence when I have nothing to go on? If you're looking for a clue, it's already in your hands. What? It is? Just as it sounds, Phoenix. You already hold the key. I'm not gonna say it. 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 We're just gonna move on. I'm not gonna say it. I'm not gonna say it. I don't have enough members to fucking be that gross in a stream. I need that ad revenue. R really? Come on. J Jesus Christ. I'm a bad man. I'm a bad man. <laughs> show me the key to this case. The key, huh? All right. I'll show it to her. The key I hold. Oh, you meant literally. Key to my heart? Mia, have you seen this key before? Ah, the key. Wow, it's like someone... This Kingdom Hearts Phoenix Wright crossover moment with, with heavy, flirty sexual undertones. It's like someone stole my fanfic and turned it into a game. Ah, the key. It's literally the key to understanding everything that's happened in this case. And this key? Phoenix, listen. Right now, that key is sitting in your hand. However... It shouldn't be. It contradicts the facts. What does she mean? I'm certain this key will be the piece of evidence that makes your case tomorrow. You already know everything you need to know. You know what the key to this case is. That is enough. But, but, how could I win tomorrow without knowing who the real murderer is? Who, who could have? Come back. I didn't know it at the time. But this day was going to end with a turn for the surprising. No, they're covering them up. I mean, oh no, she's lying to me. Mia, w what? What's wrong? That's right. Only I can see the psyche locks. She's lying to me and now I can't see her baps. Her booba loobies. I don't feel like dancing, but it still fucking slaps. Mia must know something about the real murderer. But for this to be something that she would hide under lock and key from even me. What in the world is going on? That is an interesting little cliffhanger. I feel like she was trying to get us to get the answer, but so she was lying to us? Save your progress up to this point? Yeah. Yeah, there's this trial, another investigation, and another trial. Yeah, so I guess we'll have to do that on Monday. We can't do another nine hour stream. No, def not. And that seems to be a really good spot. Yeah, that feels like a good spot. I get to meet Von Karma's kid on Monday. So that'll be exciting. I'm a little mad that Miles is gone. When did Phoenix Wright get psychic powers? That happened earlier, Hank. It's the little thingy that uh, Pearl gave us for being for being brave. Um, but yeah, I think that's still a good a good spot to end it. I I'm mad that I titled this more anime law lovers, and there's actually less because Edgeworth is gone, and we haven't met the new the new gal yet. I feel like I deceived everyone. 
Um, but I think that's a good place to stop. I, I appreciate the additional mechanics. So you have like interrogation style, like evidence objection moments outside the courtroom. It's smart. I think whatever they do later and then implemented it into uh, rise from the ashes, I almost said rise of the Phoenix. That's the tenacious D song. Um, I think that was smarter to do more evidence based stuff. Mia covers up and Bill is out. No, that's absolutely true. <laughs> I'm uh I'm I'm gonna be throwing a little fit for the next 72 hours. <laughs> if you even if you even care or whatever the fucking <laughs> um if you even care about me doing more Phoenix Right, please remember to like, comment, share the links around, follow me on social media, subscribe, ring the bell, donate, donate to Thank Miss in the World Central Kitchen. They provide uh, meals and supplies for uh, families in, in during time families needing aid during times of crisis. I almost said families in aid. Hey, are you helping people? Here's some food. Uh, <laughs> aiding families during times of crises all around the world. Um, and uh, that's linked in the description. If you're watching this in the future, it's pinned in chat. Um, and yeah, they have been able to get supplies out um, in the Middle East. Um, they just updated that on their website. I saw that the other day. Um, oh yeah, and speaking of links in the description, social awareness, mental health, crisis science, Trevor Project resources, things like that. Should you or someone you know need them? Um, I don't know. I don't have much of a, I like wrapping it up by like kind of reviewing and talking a little bit at the end. Um, cause real ones come to my content for the talking stuff. Um, but I don't know. I don't have a lot of thoughts. I do want to give a big thank you to leaf for the $5 donation, the leaf for the $5 donation to thank miss and, um, the anonymous $10 donation to thank miss that we got. And then right before the stream started, um, Kinderas, I hope I said that right. Uh, for the twenty dollar donation to thank miss. Um I don't know. I I'm definitely enjoying it. I I feel like, and I'm sure this is just gonna be par for the course anyway. I feel like so far I'm gonna wish that the the tutorial case was kind of skippable because Let's go back in time two months. Like, oh, Maya's here to help me in the tutorial case. Awesome. Let's go back in time two months to when I saw Maya again and she was accused of murder. And I'm like, well, now I know everything's gravy because she hung out with me in the tutorial case, which takes place two months after this. So I almost wish you could skip it. A, B, it didn't teach me anything about the psychic locks. So I'm like... It makes sense, obviously, in the, like, when each individual game is coming out and the DS, right? This was originally for the DS or the Game Boy. Um, I, I, I wish at least, in, maybe it's more of a note for the trilogy pack remake thing. I kind of wish you could skip the, the tutorial case if it, it, if it's not going to add anything to the story, it seems, who knows, maybe we'll see the officer lady that we helped out again. Um, but I feel like Maya showing up, I think that's more, more of it is the, the notion that Maya showed up and then it's like, let's go back in time two months. Maya showing up tells me everything's going to be fine, which I guess, yes, on some level, most times everything's going to be fine. You know what I mean? Um, the, the the magic will be saved the kingdom will be restored ganon will get stopped you know like that's pretty standard story logic for the most part so you could always argue that i kind of wish you could skip it or i wish it changed or maybe like i said for the trilogy i wish you could skip it that's my only negative right now i like going to see where maya is it just seems, and it, it, it was kind of like this with the first case too. 
unless we haven't met the murderer yet, like, I I feel like it's got to be the aunt or the aunt had a hand in it because she was talking about being like part of the extended branch family and they're not as powerful, but Pearl totally could do it. Um, I like introducing Pearl for now. Um, I guess it would have been, it would have been silly to have given her the full Maya treatment. And it's like, Oh, I saved this eight year old girl from fucking life in prison for murder. So I like that she's kind of the stand-in Maya, at least for this case. Um, but I like the new location. It's interesting to see how they justify returning old characters. Like, I really wasn't expecting a lot of heart to show back up. Like, Gumshoe makes sense. Um, but if anything, I thought we would see um, Larry or Edgeworth before we would see a lot of heart. So that was cool. So I'm looking forward to see who they bring back and how they do it. Um but yeah, I guess I'd be like so much more like, oh man, like what do we do? How do we prove that she's innocent? We have to we have to prove that ghosts and psychics are real or mediums are real. But apparently we do something because she's fine according to the tutorial case. So I'm a little bummed at that. Um, I hope we get more about Edgeworth not being there. Um, that was a huge bummer. Because like, yeah, I figured we would start to see other prosecutors i just kind of figured it'd be like oh here's a case with edgeworth here's a case with a different prosecutor something or me and edgeworth are going to work together on this investigation or edge like we're going to play as edgeworth and he's going to defend phoenix right i was hoping for something kind of like that but just to imply he's just gone and phoenix is just all alone and pouting rightfully so pouting i'm pouting about it I hope we get a little more from that. I hope it's a satisfying story. Um, but I don't know. I'm enjoying it so far. I like going back to these these games. It's it's like I said about the first one. Um, minus the times where like like it, like when it goes on a little too long, or the game logic is like deviating from like how I came to the conclusion, like even despite all of those times where it gets a little frustrating, I love the balance it is where it's like, this is a murder mystery. And like, you know, this person is being wrongfully accused framed for murder and could go to jail for life. And for some reason, we only have three days to prove it. What do we do? Um, we're going up against a corrupt system. We're going up against questionable prosecutors and corrupt cops and, you know, all this cool stuff. It's like very dark and serious but it, it just balances so well with all the the light-hearted goofiness the the sexy adults yelling at each other and pointing fingers at each other like it balances all that so well for me most like 99 percent of the time um and it's very much already doing that for me like it's it, it it's fun it's silly it's it's i if it's gonna lean more into the supernatural i hope it keeps leaning into the supernatural um, I would love for there to be a, a, a case that feels like a horror case or we're like tracking down a serial killer. Like that would be fucking cool. Like a, like a dark Phoenix Wright case where there's like, ideally not a lot in the visual department. Cause that would be upsetting, but, um, it'd be cool if things like take an even darker turn at one, at some point, but I love how fun, um, uh, the games have been so far or the first one was, and the second one seems to be picking up that, that pace, the mysteries in Phoenix, 10 more towards how are we going to prove it this time? than who did it slash our client is innocent. Yeah, that's fair. It's just for me, it's like you're, you're sucked in when Maya is being accused of murder again, and we're defending her. I do and, like, the thing is, like, how are we going to get out of this pickle? It's, like, I'm a little more assured than already. That was kind of like what I was saying earlier. Like, you know on some level, you know, good will win to some capacity, right? Like, 99% of the time, you know, you save the day, you save the kingdom, you save the world, you win, you win the Mario Kart Cup, whatever. It's a video game. Most of the time you win. 
Um, so I just think it just it hinders the tension. I'm like, well, she's okay because we literally saw her be okay. Because otherwise, I'd be sitting here and I'm like, oh man, what if we like we we can't prove that ghosts are real? So like, why is like in jail or under house arrest or something? You know what I mean? Like, like again, I was like. For a hot second, I'm like, everyone's talking about this prosecutor's undefeated record, you know, Edgeworth and Von Karma in the first one, Von Karma's kid in this one. I'm like, well, at some point, we're starting to build an unbeatable track record. At some point, we're going to fail. How fucking intense would it be if, like, the case we lose is when we're defending Maya? Like, that would really mean something. But it's the first case of the second game. And we just found out that she's okay. Like, it doesn't give me the opportunity to feel that tension or speculate in that way. And like I was saying, on top of that, it balances the fun and serious so well. And I feel like that's just one of those times where, like, it at least plays into that feeling where it's like, I can still have fun, but I'm like, let me feel a little stressed about it as opposed to it will be okay. It is a video game. Like it's the same logic as people saying like, Oh, well, why are you, why are you excited for Avengers Endgame? It's uh, the Avengers. They're going to be okay. You know what I mean? It's like, yeah, if you're going to be a dick about it, but like, how are they going to be okay? Like that was part of the fun. Like, yeah. in my heart of hearts, I knew that <laughs> multi-billion dollar Black Panther and multi-multi-billion dollar shared between several companies Spider-Man are gonna be okay. But, like, how? Um. Yeah, it's like doing a prequel to put in tension. Yeah, exactly. Um. Absolutely. I just, I kind of wish they hadn't done that. Um that's really my only criticism because I'd, I'd love to feel those emotions other than I know this is going to be okay. As opposed to when I calm down and think for a second, when I can detach and look at this objectively, I know they're going to be okay. Excuse me. But also that could have fed into that tension because the first case, the first full case in the first game, we lost Mia so you could really feed into that and maybe it will since she's coming back but like i wish it had kind of fed into that feeling of i mean i guess we can talk to maya at some point we can talk to ghosts or something but like you know we lost mia this way like this was the case where we lost mia what if maya ends up in jail because of us and then like oh no pearl stay away from me kid i'm cursed i'm no good for the fey women go to the mountain and train don't ever fucking say, speak to me again. You know what I mean? Like, I, I want to feel those possibilities. But instead, I'm like, oh, everything's going to be fine. Um, It gets better at that. That's good. Because, yeah, it's also, it's the first case. It's just it, kind of the same way I felt about the first one, where it's like the Maya case and the Edgeworth case, those were way more intense than uh the Steel Samurai because, like, as fun as it is, and that's, again, where the balance between the serious and the fun really plays to its strength for me. So it's not a complaint, but it's, like, those are the moments where I'm, like, oh, shit. Like, did Edgeworth do it? Maya probably didn't do it, but, like, what happened with Edgeworth? How are we going to clear his name? Are we going to kiss? Like, all that tension, all those feelings. I'm attached to these characters. We were right in the middle of an arc. You know, he's, he's the Kaiba to my Yugi, and now I have to do this. Like I love feeling that tension and it's, it's a bit of a bummer that some of that tension's been uh, jeopardized through the tutorial case of all things. Um, but like I said, it's not the end of the world. And that's again, where that balance between silly fun and drama you know murder mystery and goofiness like it balances really well so it's like i didn't lose everything when that tension gets kind of sucked away but i'm like eh i lost a little bit but i still have all this fun and i still got to figure out how but yeah it's like the one the cases where because oddly now that we've defended maya uh twice it's like yeah the cases where you're defending an important character like there's a little bit more at stake 
Like, I'm glad we helped the Steel Samurai in the first one, but I really wasn't going to lose any sleep over that. But I kind of wish the game let me feel the, wait, Maya's back. Like, oh, this is cool. Oh, this is cool. Yo, what the hell happened? Why are you possessed by a demon? What's going on? How do I prove that this supernatural thing absolves you of your crime that you may or may not have even committed? Do I... Did someone set you up? Do I prove that, you know, mediums work? How do I save you? How do I save you? I just saw you again, as opposed to, oh, because of the tutorial level, I know that you're okay. You know what I mean? Like, I, I wish the game let me feel that emotional investment. Um, as opposed to just knowing it's going to be okay. Because, like, if you didn't know that and then Pearl shows up and she's like, hey, mister, here's a trinket. I'm, I'm training to be a medium, too. I'm like, oh, fuck. Well, your replacement's here. We're going to put down Maya. The game is putting down Maya. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. I'm not losing another face sister today. Like, I'd really start feeling that. And who knows? Maybe they put that in the, the tutorial level so people wouldn't. And I'm a masochist. But, like, I want to feel that tension because metacontextually – here's a new psychic medium girl. I'd be like, oh, fuck. Like, what are you planning? What is the story going to do to Maya to now we have a new one? What does that mean? Why are you replacing her? Like, that... Let me, let me, let me entertain those thoughts is my want there. Um, but it's not the end of the world. It's still, like I said, it's still fun. So when you take away some of that serious tone, there's still a lot there. Um, so, like I said, that... Excuse me, type the benefit of that perfect balance is still there, but it, it's, it is a bit of a bummer that I know everything's going to turn out. Okay. Um, but that's just me. Um, it'll definitely be interesting. And yeah, like I said, I like the psychic locks because like, yeah, let's do some objection. Take that out in the wild. Let's get some more of that gameplay in there. That's cool. Um, I, it might be the spoiling of playing Rise from the Ashes, but uh, I'd rather I'd rather have more CSI fingerprinty things than <laughs> than that. But it's still a cool idea, and I don't know it. I'm I'm interested to see how it's gonna play out in the full scope of the courtroom. Um, I can't imagine it would show up in the courtroom because that's then we're just doing the same thing or maybe it will for some visual flair um but i'm interested to see how that's going to play in like will it help highlight important pieces of evidence for later will it highlight important uh information from characters or you know make us more suspicious of you know the right person or something or you know get led on by a red herring um so i'm interested to see how that's gonna factor into the feel of the game more um but i had fun i hope you guys did too um wait what happened oh i got confused by the the tiltify screen it was like new donations and i was like oh boy um but anyway speaking of tiltify and thank miss and the world central kitchen please consider donating if you can there's a donation link pinged pinned in the chat uh linked in the description um I also, we we already did it for the existing members, but I'll do it for every new one if we get any for uh, December during um, our fundraiser, but uh, I'll also consider becoming a member. That that way you help me out and give a dollar to World Central Kitchen to provide uh, meals for uh, people in crisis. Um, but I, I want to give a thank you to, um, again, I'm sorry if I say your name wrong, uh, Kinderas, who donated $20 like, like 20, 30 minutes before the stream started. Uh, we got anonymous donation for ten dollars and leaf for the five. Um, and thank you everyone for hanging out. Um, again, if, if you can't or you don't want to uh, contribute, you're unable to right now, or you just don't want to, don't worry. You're helping out by hanging out. Uh, make sure you're clicking all the buttons, following me on social media. There's tons of free ways to support me. Watch my latest video on the boy and the heron. Um, I do have spoiler free and spoiler sections uh, marked in the video. Um, if you want to check that out or an old video or a VOD of, or an old stream, uh, watch some stuff, click on things, leave a comment, share links around with other people. There's tons of uh, fun ways, fun ways, free, well, fun, I hope, but free ways to support me. Um, yeah. Remember to click all those buttons and things. Thank you again, guys, for hanging out.
Thank you, Alana, for modding. Um, and we'll be back Monday playing more Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney 2, Justice for All. Um, and just like that, we hit the four-hour mark. <laughs> um, but be safe. Uh, be mindful of others. Grab a mask if you're heading out. And remember to take care of yourselves, please.